I just want some fucking whiskey. God damn it. Dude, yeah, get salt. Like, do the th fucking tequila thing. Like, lick your hand, put the salt on it. Fuck. Ah, ah. Do you have one of those uh, Brita water filters? You can filter out all the bullshit. <laughs> Distill it right into your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, some M and M's in it. It'll be like a Reese's pieces. <laughs> why would you, Why would he put CDs in his fucking whiskey? Fucking stupid joke. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to episode 139 of the Not For Human Consumption podcast. <laughs> your drunken weekly update on all the things. Fuck you, Dylan. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yes, I said 139. We have made 138 of these motherfuckers. So good job, right. everybody. I miss my Friday nights. Oh, you do so much. Anyway, well, <laughs> you know, you guys, when you pitched this to me, it was Sundays in the in the <laughs> afternoon. Okay. No, it wasn't. It was Saturday mornings. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. We did this podcast on the Lord's Day. Uh, Could you imagine if we still did this at Saturday at 10 a.m.? I wish we would. With an hour like drive to and from, y'all fucked up. I'm your host, Matt, and with me, as always, is Dylan. Hello. And then Dave, the guy immediately hey, ever bitching out the buddy. gate. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, the barnacle of comedy. <laughs> That's he, me. He's back. And we got fucking Jay. Hey, hi, baby Jay. What's up? Hi. hi. Fucking. <laughs> and Ray from the Rich Dickman Show. 25% Welcome. of the Rich Dickman Show is with us, ladies and gentlemen. 25%? So, yes. 75% of the chin. 75% <laughs> of the chin, 25% of the host. Because Rem is not even. Rem is not even. Uh, full. He's another 25% because they have an owner. Rich Dickman, and, and I guess fifty. Yeah, he's got to be fifty percent. He's the owner. You got to own more of the company. He's got two dicks. He must be clean. Yeah, he's beneficial <laughs> owner. <laughs> yeah. So how's it going, dude? Good. Uh, officially, I am my co-host. Uh, definitely not main host. Definitely uh, co not host, yeah. main host. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like a lot of responsibility. I'm not into that. <laughs> hey, I know I've said this with other people that have been on that show that mysteriously disappeared. Um, just. Just nod up and down if you're safe. If you're safe, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, because uh, he's and it's not Remy's got to worry about; it's his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys just recently had Dave on, so thanks for that. That was yeah. fucking good time. Yeah, that was fun. You guys, yeah, thanks for I, coming I wanna, on, Dave. I apologize for being <laughs> so very. Um, I don't know proper and nice on your show but you're in for it now because you're here now so like don't say anything stupid because we're gonna i'm gonna shred you I'm oh gonna no shred you. That, that's fine no that's fine you know all all fair and love and work all uh, oh, let's do the love we're all in first. love right yeah but yeah no it's uh that was we appreciate having you on uh and uh we were blown away when you came on your show here uh the, the following day or later and and we're we're convinced, <laughs> thoroughly convinced that we were a family-friendly show because we said that. Um, I mean, we've had numerous porn stars. Porn stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what it's because I was drinking and explain, smoking, right? and I, I was like, just yeah. like you're like, hey, this is a family-friendly show, and I was like, I got in my own head for a second. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm all fucked up it's and drunk and with strangers. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. And I know, I and. Yeah, I've listened to you guys talk about horrible, amazing things. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible guest. I apologize. <laughs> for not being. Oh, we're absolutely horrible. At, at some point, you know how like you guys follow uh, Rem's mom on Twitter? Yes. Like, she definitely, definitely does not listen to the show anymore. She used to, <laughs> but there's no way that she can listen anymore and keep her sanity. Yeah, uh, I know sure family not. members that have uh, found out about the podcast, and uh, they, they definitely had to stop listening. <laughs> yeah. listening I had, I yeah. had a lady at, uh, I had this lady at work. She's got to be in her late fifties or so, and uh, I, we, I was in her office for a meeting, and somehow uh, I, I was talking about how I had a four day weekend coming up. And Hell yeah! I said I said my fr my first day. Friday's not really kind of a day off because I have the podcast. She's like, oh, what's your podcast about them all? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I don't. So Shut your mouth. Uh, I'm like, no, no. She's like, please. She's like, I want to know what it is. Like, what do you guys talk about them all? No. 
She's like, come on. She's like, is it bad? I'm like, it's bad. I'm like, you don't, I, I don't want anybody from work listening to it. She's all, what do you mean bad? Like, she's like, like pooping and fisting? <laughs> I'm like, what? Whoa. Kind dude. of. Did she, she, made she, made the whole, zero to she made the whole fisting gesture too. She's all like pooping and fisting. <laughs> Did you give her the website? Oh, Lady on Where? street. No, I didn't. Yeah. What? I did not. Why? Dude, awesome. She was barking she's up like, the right tree, though. Jesus. <laughs> she was. She was. She's, she's like, looking for content, have, man. She's like, can I call the show? I'm like, uh-uh. 480-788-7330, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You're sucking yeah. chilling to the fisting. The yeah. I'm not fucking. I'm not gonna fucking... show my show to one of my fucking supervisors. <sighs> Dude, that stickers on my face are all over my work. Yeah, we. Yeah, follow... you don't have the same kind of job I do. <laughs> oh, what? My job's not as important as yours. I'm oh. not saying I'm, it has nothing to do with importance. It's level of professionality of the type of job that I happen to have. Oh man! Listen, it'd, be, it'd be more weird if you've the band your teacher boss wasn't a here. fucking stoner, right? <laughs> yeah, like you've had you've had your boss on here. I uh, could not have mine point. on here. He wasn't on it. He slept by it. <laughs> hey Jay, I had a I had a similar experience with someone at work. So uh, the president of my company's wife also works for this company, mm. and uh, she nepotism. She somehow knows about I. She knows that I do the podcast. <laughs> Yeah. And at some point it came up and she was like, oh, I know about the podcast. <gasps> and this was right after, like a week <laughs> or two after we did episode 100. And and mind you, little background, she's pretty religious. Uh, oh, hell her yeah. And her husband. <laughs> like, they definitely go to church a lot, right? What, like Church this of Satan? <laughs> no, the, the Church of, church of uh, Godliness. Like it, yes. uh, extreme purity. <laughs> and they this is right after episode 100 when we had the the dick judging contest with the three porn stars that came on and judged mine and rem's dicks against yeah. one another yeah yeah that's and awesome the whole, yes and and all i know is she was like i know all about the podcast and this is like a week after that episode came out and all i'm thinking is this is awkward yeah like, did she listen to that episode <laughs> they're always like, gonna did, hit the most recent <laughs> yeah like did she size you happening? up it becomes that no. situation where you're at the work Christmas party and some somebody just happened to show a little too much skin. And then now it's weird around the office. Nobody's making yeah. eye contact. So that's exactly why I wanted to have you on the podcast, Ray. For episode 100, you had those porn stars rate your, you and Rem's Cox. Yes. And one of them said you had a really suckable head. So I was like, I got to mm -hmm. get him on the podcast. <laughs> I got to get that head <laughs> in my mouth. I got to get that in my fucking <laughs> mouth. Really suckable I'll head. I'll be the judge of that. Good episode title. <laughs> <laughs> really suckable head. I'll, I'll fucking write it down. So yeah, um, just give uh, you know. What's we, that mean? A really suckable head. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but th that's interesting. Uh, what does that mean? Well, the the way I interpreted it was that she said that it was just uh, looking uh, suckable, yeah. as in appetizing. Yeah, because appetizing. The reality is, <laughs> we just sent the pictures, right? We sent oh, pictures. We no. didn't meet and then review in that manner. Therefore, Do you have an iPhone? <laughs> Oh, a porn star not, wants no, to suck a dick? See, That's that, weird. I think, was the key. Rem's an iPhone guy now. <laughs> so you I'm can an cheat. Android guy. I'm a, Rem I'm can a... cheat with that fucking... Uh, yeah, the point five the yeah, fish yeah. eye lens. The fish yeah. eye lens. Rem cheated. That's why his dick looked a little weird, though. It thinned <laughs> it. It made it big, but thinned it out. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah. I won, though, so I don't know if the iPhone's doing any favors. <laughs> yeah. That maybe, camera maybe can... Maybe mine just, despite <laughs> despite him having the, the, the uh, iPhone advantage, I still won. Maybe that says He's something. still a boomer. He probably yeah. did it wrong. <laughs> if that camera can straighten my finger out, it's got to do wonder for, wonders for dicks. Oh, man. So anyway, fucking, um, I know we share some listeners, but go ahead and just do a quick little summary of your show for anybody that hasn't heard it yet. Uh, yeah, so we are a slightly better than mediocre podcast. Uh, yeah. Our benefactor, Mr. Rich Dickman, uh, sponsors <laughs> the show. He's, he's got us on there weekly, contractually obligated to do at least one show a week. Uh, we record on Thursday nights, 7 Pacific, 9 Eastern. Uh, they release pretty much like Friday at midnight. So like for right now, it's almost like 10 o'clock. So they actually come out like first thing Saturday. Right yeah. When, when Saturday hits. They come out during when we, uh, we record. I always yeah, see it right when we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so there's that. Yeah. And we just cover whatever the fuck we want. We yeah. Don't even, there's there's nothing. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. Lots of guests. Uh, this last episode we recorded yesterday was with Priory Society. There's a, a couple of swingers. They got their own podcast. Um, and that one got nice and steamy. Yeah. Holy smokes. You guys like poop and sex and cum? 
Oh yeah. Like, you oh, will, man, that man. is like a wet dream of, a, of an episode for you guys. Yeah, we're the, hey, clo- we're the know, Cloaca you know, of podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, everything comes from one spot. Yeah. yeah. We have oh. an amazing family-friendly podcast that we got going on over here. Yeah, you got in <laughs> Dave's fantastic. head bad. It was funny. He was still good <laughs> on the show, though. I listen. Because he's my client, you know. I get 10% of his appearance, so I'm waiting on that. <laughs> yeah, 10% oh, nice. of zero is still You get nothing. 10% of his naps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the priori- yeah. the priority society. Um, Rem's priory, gonna right pri- priory. priory priory yeah whatever. They're people Weird Latin shit. They're they they go to Vegas and set up fuck rooms and just they trade out wives and all that stuff. So they're not fucking anymore. They don't. No, they they're no, doing they it do. now. Yeah, Vegas is so, open. Are, are, the, the are, are these pandemic. folks swingers or are they polyamorous? Because we decided last week that swingers are boomers and polyamorous folks are millennials, are like millennials. millennials and younger. Oh, interesting. Yeah. They just no, want to sound are, smart. They're certified swingers, and they, I mean, I'll boomers. let you guys listen to the episode, let them explain in detail, but essentially they are very methodical about how they do it. Um, but they get, holy fuck, they get dirty. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> like, for them. <laughs> they were talking about like, taking pills or getting shots in your dick to like get your boners up and uh, uh just the most absurd stuff just to make absurd. it like highly recommend it the most so they're, <laughs> they're boomer as fuck if they gotta fucking yeah. inject their dick to get it hard oh, gotcha. they are in their mid-30s so i don't think they quote oh come on man i'm you're, 41 hey, keep a you're fucking it's coming up on hours. you dylan <laughs> oh, better take care of that dick dylan my yeah. dick works great well you yeah, know it's pretty well you got you gotta <laughs> use it hey hey you don't use it you lose it yeah, they'll tell you you need to keep your dick in top shape. Tip top like, dicks. Yes, you cannot mess around with this when you're in the swinging <laughs> swinging lifestyle. Apparently, like they is this matters, right? And apparently, a lot of people, a lot of guys get gun shy for whatever reason. So Pussies. they get. I don't know. They were talking about. <laughs> now this one sounded counterintuitive. I was gonna call it bullshit on this one. Yeah. But the guy is saying that you can go get this shot on the tip of your penis. It's like Oof. a little insulin <laughs> shot. And then it instantly makes your dick hard until you get like a downer shot. Oh, I've and heard I'm of like, that. Okay. No, what? Yeah, but I'm like, there's no fucking but way I can you just put a needle that. anywhere near my dick. You stick a needle in my dick and then it gets hard. That's counterintuitive. Bullshit. <laughs> that does not happen. So you load your dick up with cocaine and then you fill it up with heroin at the end. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Knock it the fuck out. <laughs> hey, we've already we've already talked about it. Dicks can snort lines. Yeah, yeah. dicks breathe. We played a video on our show of this guy smoking a cigarette through his dick, and they zoomed in so close with the camera, you can hear like a... You can hear it inhaling. You can actually see the cigarette drawing and like smoke coming out and shit. (laughs) So dicks are a wonderland, dude. I think John Mayer said it best. Yes. Dicks are a wonderland. That's a good episode title, too. (laughs) So, fuck, yeah. I don't think I'd be able to make that swinger community. I've got a monster bush. Dicks are a wonderland. Oh, you got a monster bush? Some yeah. dude's wife walks out of the suite next to where your wife's getting banged, and she's like, ah. yeah. <laughs> "Was fucking hairballing, dude." Yep, <laughs> big time. I've always can't kind of realize that like swingers are usually the people that I don't want to be swingers, and polyamorous people are usually like hotter and more attractive. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to polyamory and leave the swingers to the y- you old men. <laughs> it's it's you know. Kind of just you're talking Man, about like the ripping and a tearing guy, right? Like that. Yeah, he's a swinger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's just polyamorous. evolution of language, dude. That's all it is. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're just older. Yeah, Dylan. Dylan just doesn't want to fuck old people. That's why his Tinder matches are 21. <laughs> yes. Well, he <laughs> can only way he feels young it. forever. That's his, I bu- that's I his way it. to be Peter Pan. I bumped it to 25. Oh, good job. That's your max. That's my lowest. I'll go. Oh, uh, what's your highest? Uh, 35. 35? You're, you're at that Christ. age, though, that these young broads look at you like, what a gross old man. <laughs> yeah, right? dude, it sucks right now. I'm like a fucking shitty age. <laughs> you're at that gross old man fucking, like, you're like, right there at the, you're right there ready to jump off that cliff. You know what's fucked up? I don't look 33. I could pull off like 27 still, but... Mm. My profile is linked to my Facebook so that I can't change the age. I don't know. So you want to lie to girls. <laughs> yeah. You want to lie to you're, girls. You're definitely pissy like a 30-something-year-old. I know. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Dylan's you're, out you're there already, giving himself huge compliments. <laughs> you're, you're already at that point where Prime it's like... 
specimen. We, we, you know, we, you're already at that point where you're the one saying, these fucking kids nowadays. <laughs> I don't <laughs> That's, say that. You're, you're, no, you don't say that exactly, but some of your comments, you're kind, you're getting there. You're getting there, Dylan. I can hang out with the kids still. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to just I was just I'm thinking relevant. about that the other day how Dylan could probably like still have a conversation with like, you know, a, a 19-year-old broad and like I have. still somehow be interested. Cuz he's just you lying know? to him and crying over Mac Miller's death. <laughs> like, hey, it's <laughs> he listens to Mac Miller so we can relate to them. It's always the Mac he's, Millers and never the Matt Millers. <laughs> <'Cause he's>, Whoa! <laughs> Because he's out there still waiting to hit his growth spurt. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, man. How tall Just are you, sucks. Ray? Uh, like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, I don't measure my height. Yeah, measuring dicks, not height. But yeah. yeah. So everybody's still taller than Dylan on this episode. You're, you're 46 dicks. <laughs> yeah, you're measuring dicks. <laughs> 46? <laughs> Yeah, there are a bunch of there are a bunch of small three ones. Quarter. Yeah. Uh, I just threw a number out there. It sounded funny. How how tall is Rem? Does anybody know? He he claims he's five four, ten. Four thousand of his chins tall. Yeah. <laughs> That's accurate. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. But it's his. I've always liked yeah. the history of our show fucking with each other because your guys' show before your time, uh, Huel called us. Just randomly, remember, yeah. they were just calling fucking podcasts and leaving voicemails, and we fucking were like, "Fuck you!" And then bought all your guys' websites and just messed around. <laughs> then stole your URL. It got Rem really mad. He said he was a joking around piss, but I talked oh. to Hugh later. He was super mad. No, he was mad. <laughs> he was mad. Uh, yeah. So at that time, I was just a listener of the show, uh, yeah. but I had I had listened to like all that shit that Rem did way back in the days, a bunch of other stuff too. But mm-hmm. uh, just as a listener. Oh my god, he, he was fuming. <laughs> you could tell. You could tell that. Uh, like you could, you could go on the show right now and tell him, um, <laughs> you know, that that everyone should be forced by the government to wear a mask, um, and that you know we should all pay like triple taxes, and then and then say, let me hear your your rebuttal, and he would not be half as mad. <laughs> you guys that. Like he was so mad. Like he, that's about as bad as he's ever been. I that's funny. So what's dude. um. What's uh? What's your story on how uh, how you ended up joining uh, the Rich Dickman show? Yeah, yeah. Being, being a listener and then joining. I don't, dude. It was it's weird. Like many years ago, like I submitted some shit when he was doing doing the podcasting and kind of got out of it. And uh, when he started the show, at some point, I just saw it on Twitter. I, I barely had a Twitter account. I was like, oh, he's doing the fucking podcast again. Cool. Started listening, and then <laughs> I don't know. At some, I just like called in at one point. And then Huel left, and I was like, hey, man, if you want, I'll just do the podcast with you. Oh, shit. I, I, so he's sure. a, he a... <laughs> I don't even know. I don't <laughs> even know what I did. <laughs> were were you like just a listener? Yourself. Were you friends with him? Did you know him personally? No. Or you, no, were you I, just, a just a listener? No, we, we DM'd and stuff, and then exchanged numbers oh. and kind of like created a little bit DMs, of background huh? stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I was, Thanks for the but, That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's what. Yeah. So there, there is. Uh, you know, we, we don't like to really talk about it, but yeah, in the the contract with Rich Dickman, you do have to have a certain penis size to be able to be on the show. So Wait, obviously, that's a prerequisite. So he was so, happy yeah. with your suckable head and uh, yes, decent girth. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. you, like, brought, <laughs> you brought a chin and dick to the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I like the lion. I like. I like the shape of your dick. You're in. Ah, it's like the cut of your jib. The shape of your dick. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> dick shape gets Rich you dick on. Totally lightning. fucking Weinstein, you guys. <laughs> that's why That's why I didn't get the follow-up. Because when I was one of my uh, guest appearances before I joined, uh, we had Rem on there. And uh, they were trying to shill me to uh, to join uh, uh, the Rich Dickman show. Yeah, because oh, right, yeah. <laughs> you were funny on a podcast though. and we didn't know. Uh, yeah. When they made somebody laugh once, <laughs> <laughs> and now you make everybody wince. You make me laugh, but yeah, you make uh, yeah. Dylan wince. Uh, I was crying laughing when he was talking about fucking shit himself and shit. Or whatever. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, everybody, just for a little revisit on last week, check the inside lid of your fucking like thermos style cups, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, well, I have. Oh, God. I don't know if you heard it, Ray, but he was just drinking out of this cup for a while, and the inside lid gathered pulp from orange juice. I've got I've got the apparatus. And rotted. (laughs) Gave him the shits forever. It was. (laughs) 
Uh, like the inside of your Yeti? Like the little rubber? Yeah, yeah something okay. like that. That. Yeah. See that opening right there? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So it was, it was like in here, just a big chunk of ectoplasm, right? Oof. Like, I mean, like old snot. It was just a big <laughs> chunk of old fucking snot. Yeah, so PSA. And where it was gap. And where it was gathered up was inside this rubber piece right here, because it, it pops up, and it was just, I didn't realize it, and it was just all just, like, it was all pre-cum, is what it looked like, so, just clear pre-cum. Oh, so Jay, story a third time. multiple people in our Discord yeah. and throughout the week have been like, I totally cleaned my cup, bro, yeah. fucking Cody yeah, just wrote PSA, it in dude. chat. Yeah, <laughs> little did I know it was going to be a fucking PSA. I think, yeah. I think Dane did it too, man. Like I like I got a lot of messages of like I never even fucking thought to do it. Now you're just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hey. know behind every shit story there's <laughs> useful information. Yes, yes. there is. <laughs> every shit story is a warning. Check, you know, hey, check your rim, and that means two things. <laughs> Clean your rim. Clean your rim nice <laughs> yeah, and good. Yeah, yeah. Always clean your rim. A little extra scrubbing down. You know what will make you healthy as a horse again is um, I still got some of that breast milk in the freezer down there. Yes! Oh, I don't I'm know why. I'm glad you brought that up. But I can, if you want, I can run downstairs and uh, maybe uh, get your address I'm, and mail you some. My I'm, wife, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm more of a... How old are uh, your children, uh, Ray? I'm more of a from the tap kind of guy. <laughs> from the tap? <laughs> yes. Guy, straight, from the, straight from the source. I had to ask you these questions. I heard when I was on the Rich Dickman show... Yeah. And I fucking hated myself because I didn't go further into it because it wasn't my show. Why are you collecting titty milk in a freezer for a long period of time? Yeah, so human so titty not milk. Me just collecting it. Let me just be hundred <laughs> percent clear. I am yeah, and it is human. It's from my <laughs> wife. Like directly from my wife. So I Straight actually tap. So after after that episode, I actually started thinking about it. <laughs> And I so it's think, your own homebrew. I think there's actually three different ones in there. One from what is now my seven-year-old. I think you have. Oh my I god! Think. Wait a minute. I have a ten. I have a ten-year-old, a seven-year-old, and now almost a one-year-old. Yes. So, you so, so I think there's some from the seven-year-old. There's definitely some in there from from the the one that's uh, less than a year old. Okay, I thought you were gonna say ten. I was well, for some reason like no, seven's that better. Definitely <laughs> you not. have eight year old breast milk in your freezer? See, I maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I'm not quite sure. But here's the one. Here's the if it's not that old, it's from this one. When my wife was a surrogate, for whatever reason, she was like, Oh, let me just pump some of this, put it in the freezer. If we ever need it, we got it. And you know what, what her her fuck, reason for this is? It's her remedy for fixing anything. She's like, oh you got pink eye? Just squirt some breast milk in it. You got Whoa. a hearing? Squirt some breast milk in it. Whatever it is, it's like squirt some breast milk. It's healing properties. It's like the <laughs> fucking fountain of youth. <laughs> so wait, let me get this straight. That's Put some have breast that. milk in your eye. Do I? No. I, okay. Now, so that's the thing. I have never done that because I tell her she's crazy. But I'm like, I'm okay. not that shit. I am not getting near that. But she's like, it works. So, I mean... <laughs> I, if she wants to do that, uh, what else does time, she, she do? Like ooh, voodoo? Right. Like what, what? What is she a communist? What's going on? What are, this you know, weird shit is this? You know, it'd be great to fuck with people. Is get those those uh, those old popsicle containers yes, that have yes, the sticks yes. and fill those. So people are like, oh, you've got popsicles. Well, yeah, but oh. it's breast milk. Yeah. No. <laughs> Or you know how you can just take like um, like Kool Aid and put in the ice trays? Yeah, and then you make yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. But do that with the breast milk. But then oh, you tell them it's yeah. like maybe mix a little bit of like Nesquik in there or something like that. Let's make some Nesquik like, titty milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's like chocolate Dude, titty milk. No, yeah. let's Talk make like some fucking. Let's make some white Russians out of your yeah, fucking I, wife's I was tits. Just say it. Oh. <laughs> Well, her milk. Did you say drop an espresso fuck? bean in there. So uh, wait, Dave's wait. So grossed out. Wait, right right. <laughs> what? Just confirm, confirm to me. How old do you have? Seven-year-old breast milk in your freezer? I don't know if it's that old. I'm not sure. I haven't lived in this place seven years, so I don't think it's that old. I think it's from the surrogacy, okay. but that's like five years. It's still. So you've got five-year-old breast milk in your freezer. Yeah. yeah Dave, Dave, least, be, be careful. Least, yeah. Be careful how you say that, Dave. Five-year-old. <laughs> You have five year olds in your freezer. Hey, maybe it's like five wine, Dave. What seven year olds' have? breast milk? What, what I know you, nothing about breast, breast milk. Dave. Expert, Dave? How do, no, what are you I'm the this? opposite of breast milk expert. I'm a <laughs> breast milk, like, pleb. I have Dave no thinks, idea. Dave thinks they should be covered up in public while they're breastfeeding, too. Yeah. Well, all of, all of Dave's squirting happens downstairs. 
Yeah, <laughs> not not above the waist. Well, and I've I've never knocked a girl up either, so like it's just never been there. Yeah, he like, gets out of the way early and fucking kicks him I, down the stairs if you thought. <laughs> well, his dick's so long it just comes straight out of their butthole. <laughs> Wait. So. Wait a minute. How, I could, hold I on. I'm trying to do a math on this one. So you're saving it up like like a like like a slice of wedding cake. Look. Now, now real quick, <laughs> oh let God. me just let me just clarify the the terminology. When you say Man, you seven were year anniversary saving this up, I I just it's in the back of the freezer. <laughs> it's out of sight, out of mind. True. Like, There's some like don't, I'm not the one doing this. There's some you maybe, maybe I'm culpable because it's still in my you're like, well. You're enabling. Absolutely right. culpable. <laughs> yeah. you, yeah. you pay half your electricity bill, yeah. and it takes electricity to keep that shit frozen. <laughs> Therefore, so you're you, responsible. So you, you know how when when uh, when popsicles stay in the freezer for too long, the <laughs> syrup starts to separate yeah. from the ice. <laughs> is there any of that going on? Yeah. So this is the thing. It's like the ice packs. Like the ice packs that you you know you, you just collect them with like you, you order some food online. And it comes with the ice yeah. pack, and then you buy like a lunch box and it has ice. Next thing you know, you got thirty five ice packs in your freezer. And you're like son of a bitch. Like I only have <laughs> two of them. It's kind of like that. Like I see them as like an ice pack at this point. Like they just are there in the back oh. of the freezer. Well, Luckily, you can also I haven't chew on like packed a lunch and accidentally pack. used one as an ice Titty pack. That's a good thing. Yeah, oh but, man! But if you know what, like, out dude, there like working on his car and he accidentally like slips a wrench and punches himself in the eye and he's all swole up, he comes inside and grabs a bag of frozen breast milk. Yeah, you're like his face. instead of peas. What's, instead there's of nothing bag wrong of peas. with that. If you want, I'll run downstairs and grab one, and we could we could uh, maybe at the chew break, on maybe one. At the break. Ch chew on one like a like a popsicle. Eat it. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not. Come on. No, it's going on I'm YouTube. Not, no, it's going on YouTube. <laughs> I think, I Why are we so grossed out by titty milk? We lived off it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't I'll breastfed. A big deal. I'll point, give it a Jay. shot. I don't. Yeah. I was adopted. I wasn't breastfed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like this. <laughs> Your dad just got you. <laughs> watch him latch. Watch him latch on. Watch. <laughs> oh, what was that Family Guy? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a suckable head. Dave's, oh, Dave's suckable sucking his I dad's this show. Dude. Suckable man teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him latch on, I mean, he boys. Was, I mean, he was he was frick like a frick by a frick by a priest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I just have a picture of baby Dave like this breastfeeding dude, like when, when he still has the beard. Do it, Dave. Do, 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 do the su do the sucky face. <laughs> Teeth is bad. Oh, no teeth. Old, old, gu old gummy Dave. Dylan fucking pantomimed like his dad was hanging out with his friends. Like, watch him latch on, boys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. Take a bite. <laughs> take a bite out of five-year-old frozen breast milk it's for the YouTube. <laughs> fucking, it's fucking noodling, Dave. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this fucking line of questioning. <laughs> Oh man! Call your dad. <laughs> Call your dad real quick. Yeah, can we get your dad? He's probably show? hammered right now. Oh, uh, it's a good Even time to better. ask him if he ever made you suck on his <laughs> I hate this show. I quit. <laughs> oh, life! I love it. Oh. Uh, so, Dad, I have a serious question to ask you. <laughs> Adoption sucks. <laughs> Yeah, you're not even related. <laughs> I know, right? So it's not even your real dad's titty. Oh my not god. Not even that weird. <laughs> wait. Wait. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> does your does your dad have like the you know when ladies breastfeed for several times and their nipples get a little longer and fatter? <laughs> I hate you. I'll ask him on Sunday though. Remember that Chinese bra that was accepting <laughs> dicks into her long nipples? <laughs> Oh, 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 Jesus titty fucking Christ. What, what episode was that? I don't know. Um, it was at Allen's, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. How do you titty fuck? That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ray, we played a video of this Chinese oh, porn star. Jesus, you go push them together. Her the nipples were stretched out. So the dick and went inside the nipple. dude was sticking his dick inside of her, like, tear, like milk, milk ducks or yeah. whatever. Oh, it was uh, fucking... Would she, like, use gauges over time? Cum so ducks. Do oh, that? No. I don't know. I they, look right like, they look like top hats. 
<laughs> oh. <It> did. Oh. <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> God damn it! Like I forgot ass. about that. You know, you I'm glad I have a shitty memory because <laughs> my tra my traumas are fucked up, and it's all because of you. All of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, quit pointing at me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, oh, um, so you just ignore the titty milk in the freezer, much like any male uh, ignores like a chick that's into like astrology right you're just like ah god you're hot this is stupid but whatever <laughs> dylan's all like yeah, yeah I, ignore, I ignore the hose yeah <laughs> uh, like yeah it's it's either that or i'm trying to figure out a, like a good use for it besides i mean there's like fucking... uh, i thought you're gonna say exit strategy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, right. well hey you're smart Take take from take from what Dave just said about being adopted and not being able to partake in mother's milk, and see about adoption centers and uh, you know see if they want to take it off your hands for uh, that's not how it works, you know, dude. For other people's no, that, titty no, milk. Honestly, that's why my wife started saving it after she gave birth to the the twins as a surrogate. She was like, oh, I could probably sell this. Oh, yeah, it's still that's sitting in the freezer. That's much could, like could she bet, have? I or fucking she just bet you do could. it, or nobody wanted it. She hey, on the dark web. You're doing it the wrong way. I promise. Tell her to sign up on OnlyFans. It'll take <laughs> fucking. No. It'll take four tries before they'll approve you. Fuck yeah. off, and, OnlyFans. And, and then she can sell her titty milk on there, like <laughs> Belle Delphine Stone. sold her bathwater. Yeah, especially if she does it. Fr if she's able to do it fresh and just fucking. No, but Dylan, right you're on the right there. track. That's called maximizing your profits. So you, you get on the <laughs> OnlyFans, and you do the the videos of you pumping it, and then there's gonna be people paying for it, right? Yeah. And then you actually wow. Go and right sell off the it. bat, yeah. So bam, there you go. Double Make money off the. Wow, dude, oh, you just figured out how to monetize your, uh, your, your one titty, your wife's yeah. life-giving juices. Yeah, monetize the titties. And you do it after being a surrogate where someone's already paying you to fucking get pregnant? God we'll damn, triple dipping. We'll send Dave over while you're milking her titties. He can make her squirt. Yeah. There you go. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Dude, Martin. It's full circle. It's foolproof. Plan. We are. That's a lot of. This is yeah. a great entrepreneurial business. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm in. Here. Yeah, yeah. We just split the profits five ways. That's a lot teach, of things. I'll leaving teach your, your wife out of work. Four eight zero seven eight eight seven three three zero. Yeah, make sure she hydrates. You know what else yeah. I was wondering? Yeah, three you liters know, of water that day. I don't know <laughs> if you <laughs> use <laughs> your ice machines or if you may, if you have, if you still use the uh, like the ice trays like I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you cook certain things and then you put them in the fridge. And sometimes that 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 scent makes its way into the frozen goods, ice cubes and things. Oh like, yeah. For example, it's my roommate just made hard boiled eggs, so now all the ice tastes like hard boiled <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Do you think wow. that's happening to the frozen ice cubes? Milk. You're the like titty milk's just sucked up yeah. years of fish sticks and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not, dude. It's not your freezer. He's like my water. Even my water tastes stick. like somebody farted in. It. <laughs> This titty milk tastes like El Monterey chimichangas. <laughs> <laughs> El Monterey. Yeah. Is that, is that is that garlic? Hell yeah, dude. Well, is your wife a, is your wife Italian? No, she's Hispanic. What what do you want, baby? Oh, she right I have there. A, I have a seven year old here. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. What's the titty milk taste like? <laughs> Whoa. She wants me to pull her tooth out right now. Do oh. it. Pull her tooth out on a larger camera. Do yeah. Do you yeah, get, get set up? You want to do it while I'm recording? You want to watch? You want to let them watch me pull it out? She shook her head no. Uh, uh, maybe I'll do it after then. Okay. All right. I love you, little cutie. You're such a good dad. You're a good dad and a good person. I appreciate you. I was kind of hoping she'd say yes. Yeah, that yeah. Would be great. I'm ready to go large on your camera too, right she, there, dude. Yeah, she's got two loose ones right in the front. I mean, because that was the thing. If we were gonna get one, we were gonna get two. It yeah, been might a, as well. A yeah, two for one deal. And then you could yep. put that titty milk on it to heal it because it has healing yeah. properties. We, we could have fucking proved it. Point yeah. in proof. Look at yes. proven in the we, fucking cut. We got it. Yeah. Ground, ground we breaking podcasting. <laughs> we could have sampled the effectiveness of uh, of just yeah. all of this. The titty milk. Yeah. Hey, and it. if it was and if it was Science. a seven year old breast milk, it was the breast milk meant for her, so it's like lit, like a hundred percent full circle. Yeah, there's stem cells like, and like it shit in that. It was meant to be. So it's she's supposed to, to have it. <laughs> yep. It was saved just for her. Jesus. Yep. So, 
another are another thing about Ray that I know is he can't smell. He was born without the the smell, the sense of smell. Mm-hmm. So do you have like superhero sight? <laughs> can you taste no, I, I, better? Sorry. Like can you can you hear better? You know like when no, you know I how can like see dead people. Yeah, like like Daredevil does can't see, so everything else is fucking amplified. Do you have any superpowers, or are you just just you? Yeah, yeah, I see dead people. No. <laughs> Neat. Suckable head. Your semen. Yeah, it's got so a very it's suckable like, head. Is it, is it your? Is it your leftover semen? Is that the dead people? <laughs> millions and millions <laughs> upon millions. Oh, dead hey, you should dead you should start freezing your semen. And three live ones. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. She can't give you shit Dylan. about it. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan, I like where you're headed. Listen just to start Dylan. putting it in the freezer, and then when she starts asking, be like, "Oh no, it's Freeze. for like you know, like if you start." If there's lots of proteins in it, it's good for you. You know, you if can you're, suck on my if semen. If you're ovulating cubes. and I'm not around, just shove a cube up there. Oh, <laughs> cubes of cube. Ray. <laughs> cubes of Ray sounds like a, a fucking like indie album. They have those. They have those fucking novelty cubes. like penis. They have those novelty like fucking penis ice trays. <laughs> so the semen and cubes of Ray is a prod band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cubes of Ray. <laughs> It's like rings of Saturn, you know, yeah, like 12 totally minute songs, is. you know, no vocals, fucking yeah. like eight time signature changes. Yep. Cubes of Ray, I would buy that album. I'd stream oh. it. I'd stream it at a minimum, you know. A ray of cum shine. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man, that's fucking fantastic. That, that was a good one. That that's probably the best one you said all day. <laughs> good yeah. job, Jay. Jay did it. Was, it. There's got to be a fetish out there for it. There, there's a market somewhere. Well, frozen semen? <laughs> there's got to be, yeah. So I want you to jerk off an ice cube tray and put it back next to the, the titty milk, but I want you to film it mm. where she can't Leave see it. GoPro. And I want it Leave to see, like, an argument forming, and you'd be like, well, it's not any weirder than your shit. <laughs> yeah. It's the most yeah. dangerous game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Game of chicken right there. Like, have a, no, have a, no, if you throw away your breast milk, then I'll throw away my frozen cum. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you should you should buy out some breast milk and have a nice cold glass of breast milk with cum cubes. Yeah, oh. yeah there you go. And then Dave so can pull a bong hit that. through it. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't even have a bong. Sorry. We grossed Dave out by saying if we filled the bong Stop. up with cum and he could pull fucking weed through it. <laughs> uh-huh. But now we could put titty milk cubes on top. I, that's the fancy. That's the fancy way to smoke weed when you put you ice cubes weed. in the water. And, and, and then you smoke. <laughs> you smoke loads of weed. <laughs> loads of weed. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Jesus Telling you, man. That's so many flavors. It's me and Jay and Dylan plus fucking Ray's cum and his Dude. wife's titty milk. That's like a cornucopia of Dave quitting. <laughs> he, <pushes the> <laughs> what? he just pushes the fucking microwave. That's a recipe for disaster. Oh shit! What man. if you dropped a cum cube in your eye hole and let it melt? <laughs> <laughs> Is there an answer to that? I, that's got to be rhetorical, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna like be quiet so I could fucking kill all your bits about it. Fuck yeah, you nobody wanted to answer. <laughs> Even the song. No one- Whatever, Just shoot down gold. You'd be, you'd be found out. <laughs> Even the background song had a pause for a second. It was fucking. Yeah. Oh, if we could do it, if we could freeze it like oh, with dry dude. ice, and then it would be like a fucking, <laughs> like a cauldron for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if I took like headshots and like sent them to like I don't know. I'll fucking like, give you a headshot. On the <laughs> ooh. It's got to be frozen though. I would totally if, I, if there was a headshots. safe way to do it, I would totally put dry ice in my hole and let it like do the thing. Oh, I'd oh, fuck the skin up though. Yeah. That's stupid. Nah, you can I line can just it, do it like, with my vape. Get some silicone. Just line it with some fucking get, get a little silicone fucking mold of your eye hole, and then use that, and then you can put the the dry ice in there with a little bit of water. Hey Dave, have, have you have you shown Ray you Got blowing it. vape through your head hole? I don't know. Have I? Yeah, you did when when you were on uh, the Rich Dickman show. Uh, oh, that's right. With uh, Rim Dickman and myself, Ray. We have a new guest. If we have a new guest, so I'm like a kid. I'm like, want to show them all our toys. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and you I got this G.I. Joe, and I got these Star Wars <laughs> yeah. guys. I got a. And this is I my a, Dave Head Hole I got a Batman. <laughs> and I got a. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. We can do karate in your garage soon. That's, yeah. That's step number two. <laughs> 
You guys, you guys all have like stupid human tricks or something? Like, what do you, what do you guys got? I got shit. We're I mean, just stupid. We hum Dave. We're just stupid humans. <laughs> yeah, just no yeah. tricks. Sometimes, sometimes I'm a tricks talent happen. around here. Oh. Yeah, Dave's the talent. Imagine that. Fucking raid. Dave's the talent. Dredge the river, fucking find you guys, <laughs> and drag like you the, out. More like the sideshow, dude. Well, da, 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 da. So, <laughs> Dave went on your guys' podcast, and then Dave reported how it was on our next, the next episode of our podcast, yeah, and then yeah. your guys' follow-up podcast. You were shitting yeah. on him, yeah, and it was fucking great because Rem has a fucking memory like a goddamn steel trap, and he'll like yeah. know episode numbers and like almost the time. Oh my god! So man. he went backwards and found clips of our own show of us three all getting the joke and then Dave figuring it out like three minutes later than retelling yeah. it to how he got to uh, him figuring it out <laughs> and I fucking died laughing dude the Rich Dickman show is a goddamn treasure I appreciate yeah. you guys and let me just uh, <laughs> elaborate a little bit on that so Rem I don't want to take away from it he does have a mind like a steel trap doesn't doesn't forget anything um, but we also have, uh, you know, Rich Dickman employs a whole plethora of, of uh, yes. interns and things like that. They go back and they do some of that as well. But, it, but yes, uh, he, he, he was able to lead that charge and pull all those clips. It's it's fantastic. Not that um, one spaghetti intern, though. That guy's a pile of shit, isn't he? Fuck. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he was fired after uh, like, what, 48 you know, hours. What's really weird is, is uh, I, he didn't last very spaghetti long. Spaghetti was hanging out with his camera on and like, like being a whole different person over there in that Discord. It was fucking really weird. <laughs> Are you guys talking about Landalion? Landalion. Yeah, Land <laughs> That's a pretty good name. Yeah. Well, we have a very welcoming, family friendly environment over there. So, so that's why he feels. feels I, that he's, I feel he's like I'm a. That. I feel like I'm a fucking. I don't like a like a, like a pig at a banquet when I'm on your show. I don't know why. What the? F <laughs> why, yeah, you've done it before. In your mouth. I have done uh, it before, but yeah. Fuck off, Jay. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I just feel. I feel like. I feel like I'm gonna fucking say something horrible, and everybody's gonna get real mad at me for some reason. Dude, I, wait, so Ray <laughs> mentioned that he's his wife was a surrogate, and the, when I was on the Rich Dickman show, I asked if that guy jerked off in his hand and fisted his wife with it, then let it go like a fucking like 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 pollen like, in a hand, like like <laughs> like freeing a butterfly. <laughs> Which is, I, that's not what happened because I helped guide the guy's hand in there. Oh, okay, yeah, so nice. with the assist. Oh, I'm a fucking yeah. gentleman. Yeah. yeah. So would you, guys, would you consider yourselves uh, swingers or polyamorous? <laughs> that's, I don't know. You know, that's, there, there's got to be some sort of a new term. I don't know what it is, but new term when you... Uh, Other people fucking... When you actually, yeah, you don't just have sex, but you then uh, birth their children yeah. for them. That's, that's a whole new level. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but that's... Back in my day, we called them loose women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, the chick that couldn't have uh, the kid, though. That's just like a flashlight, right? Mm-hmm. That's super insensitive, probably, but... You, can... <laughs> you don't need birth control, right? Yeah. Oh. Like, at some point, right? I mean, you, you know, the guy, like, it's like a consolation prize, I guess. Yeah, right. it's all fun and Maybe. games like when you're young, but then he's like older. He's like, I want to have kids, but I just fucking keep blasting and blasting and blasting and blasting and blasting. The glass it's all fun and games, games until after. her uterus dries up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're sorry for anybody that can't conceive and want to, but you shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah Ray, I and, fucking my hands off to you. And uh, why shouldn't you have kids, Matt? What does that stop from happening? See if not you're having kids. If you're so anti pedophile like me, you will never have a kid, so nobody has the chance to fuck that kid. That's I still yep. stand on that platform. Mm -hmm. Also, the robots are going to take all of our fucking jobs, yeah. so there's no need for more people. Yeah, yeah, but but see, Matt, like if you've ever wanted to kill someone, which I feel like all of you guys have wanted at some point, <laughs> then you have kids. So if that pedophile comes at you, you have an excuse to kill someone. That is true, and then that's, that's a fucking that's a that's yeah. a get out of jail free card. Yeah. So you just go over like the top. You're, you're having that's a long game to play just to be able <laughs> yeah. to kill somebody. That's a that's weird a, yeah. lure, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sitting out there me. with Fuck, my just get it out of the way. I'm sitting up there. The 18 years. That's 18 <laughs> years of a fucking <coughs> of dropping a line in the water and hoping you mm -hmm. get a bite. Is that why? Is that why parents? Oh, dude, wait a second. <laughs> so this guy has a kid, and he's stoked because it's a girl. And then he goes to all the place, oh, and he trolls this girl back to forth <laughs> just so he can shoot somebody. Yeah. It's murder prostitution. Why do you think I'm all the parents hang out on the outside of parks? They're just basically tossing their line in and just waiting. 
So that's the stereotype of the dad on, on the. We're gonna get canceled for this. Because we're anti, right? Yeah. Meet my murder excuse. I mean, my kid. <laughs> fucking Matt. Matt has a kid. Starts going to the fucking Catholic church. Like, uh oh. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> never, never have a kid. <laughs> Fuck that. Nope. That just sounds like raising something that'll hate you later. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you do a shitty job. No, I do a great job. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, my probably. That would be a great. Matt would be the perfect dad. That kid's just gonna grow up being rad at video games. Yeah, and have everything at once. My dog has better health insurance than I do. Yeah. What do you think about well, that? Yeah, talk about, <laughs> talk about ki- kids, uh, video games, and and how kids are shitty. My, I haven't. I was about to tell this one on the podcast this week, but we ran out of time. But my fucking ten year old this week uh, went buck wild on Roblox. Oh, spent spent three hundred and eighty dollars no. without your consent. Shit. Yeah, in like two days. So, so that's why you don't have kids. <laughs> yeah, so we, we got her an iPhone for her birthday a couple months ago, like one of those cheap iPhone SEs. Yeah. Like, here you go, happy birthday. And uh, so she locked herself out of it because uh, she didn't want her sister, who also has a phone, to be able to access hers for some fucking reason. So she, she locked it down so hard she, nobody could get it. She the password, yeah, so she locked herself out of it, right? Jesus. So anyway, so she's like, all right. So I, kids, so, kids are so stupid. Yeah, and so as parents, we're not so fucking stupid that we let them have access to, like, payments. Like, th- there's no way they're buying stuff on their devices, right? Yeah. But what I saw the other day when she was on my wife's laptop, which is an Apple laptop, right? So she's playing Roblox on there. And then my wife, like two days ago, she she calls me and she's like, "What are these charges?" And I'm like, "I, I, I have the kids. It's not for me. I don't have any fucking Apple anything." It says Apple whatever yeah. the bank account, right? And I'm looking at. I pull it up when she's asking me, and I'm like, "Holy shit! Like fifty two dollars, like eighteen dollars." I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and my wife, my wife, who may, maybe is not so great at math, but she goes, she starts adding it up. She's like, "Oh my god!" Okay, so it goes like this. <laughs> She goes, who did this? And the, the seven-year-old goes, she did it. <laughs> and then and then she goes, well, what, what were you buying? She's like, this is like $17. This is like $20. She's like, this is at least like $100. And I'm like sitting there. I'm like, pull out the calculator. I'm like, oh my God, $380. Of Roblox? Going, Just what, Roblox <laughs> DLC? Yes, Roblox wow. deals. She went fucking, oh my God, she went ham. So I'm like, no, you want to know how much it actually is? Three hundred and eighty dollars, and she goes, she goes, Casey, <laughs> you're never playing Roblox again for the rest of your life. Oh no! I don't care if you're eighteen and moved out of this house. You're still <laughs> never playing Roblox. Doing that kid a favor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dylan's kid just got into that shit. Ah, uh, he's fucking way too into that goddamn game. <laughs> Roblox is the weirdest fucking game ever. Because it just rips off other games, but in its oh, own yeah. shitty, like, Roblox-looking way. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like a yeah. fake-ass Minecraft or fake-ass, yeah, like... It... Well, so how much does the so... house cost? Because apparently my, my daughter bought, like, a whole fucking neighborhood. I don't know. <laughs> every, there's, like, a million different games in Roblox, and you can buy, like, guns and shit inside inside individuals' games. It's fucking, yeah, it's almost it's, like mini-games or whatever. It's, like, all small developers and just people making games, and then they can have their own shit in there that you can buy, and then the money goes to them. It's fucking weird. But Cody, I will say, he was playing a game that was inspired by Counter Strike, and then he got Counter Strike. So now he's playing Counter Strike. <laughs> oh, so, so like, you got him out of it. <laughs> so like, we'll see if that that catches on. Upgraded. So Cody Mortem from Roast Mortem says, my cousin ordered eighteen thousand dollars of Pokemon <laughs> cards with his dad's oh, credit shit. card. Yeah, dude. Fuck. So you, you don't have a cousin. Right? You don't. You don't have a cousin anymore. <laughs> Yeah. That kid would be dead. <laughs> oh yeah. man, because I don't. Th- I think they they still charge it. Like, well, you should know what your kid's doing. I don't think you can like go back on those charges. Did oh. you get your three eighty back there, Ray? Uh, so actually, yeah, we were checking it this evening. Uh, it looks like they're pending to get returned. Um, I told my wife call Roblox and say first and foremost um, that you know they're fraudulent charges. And second of all, perma ban that account. <laughs> like, be, she's worked hard for that over years, I'm yeah. sure. But like, fuck that. Um, but it's fun, as, as any good parent does. Um, I harass the shit out of her about it. Like, uh, hey, who wants to get hurt tonight? Uh, anyone who didn't spend uh, three hundred eighty dollars <laughs> mm-hmm. have dessert that's, tonight. Yeah. That's one of the best things to do when you have kids. Is to just fuck get with them with them. shit like that. Like, just 
fuck with them. Let the Start punishment the carry. Yeah. carry. Yeah, yeah. What'd you offer for punishment hey, carry? Everybody fucks up, right? Like, what am yeah. I really gonna do? Like, My she, she, I mean, dude, she, we asked her straight up, like, how much money do you think you spent? She's like, I don't know, like, $20? <laughs> Like, yeah, your math is fucking bad, child. Yeah. Like, you're smart than that. <laughs> on 20, definitely several rounding times. Down. Yeah, but my stepdad, on. my stepdad when I was younger, he, I had a Nintendo in my room. Well, whenever I'd get in trouble, he would take it from me, right? So, but what he would do is he would take it from me and it would always be on a weekend and he would, he would plug it into the living room television <laughs> and he'd rent my favorite game. <laughs> And have his friend come over and they would play them in fucking front of me. <laughs> wow. Like a it. fucking asshole. Damn. I love it. I just get kicked in the head playing Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> Old Jerry. <Damn>. Mm. <laughs> Yours is way funner. Or way more fun, grammatically uh, speaking. Fuck. Oh, Cody said right. all but 600 was refunded of that 18K. That's not too bad. I'd be excited yeah. about that, though. I'm like, oh, only 600? I know. <laughs> the you better party. fucking give me six hundred dollars worth of Pokemon cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn. Fuckers. Uh, well, fuck yeah, dude. You're welcome to hang out for a while longer if you want. But we're gonna get into some fucking. Uh, Dylan had a couple things happen. I want to fucking touch on. So. Touch well, well, no, I'll, I'll let you guys get back to it. I appreciate you guys having me on. Right. Um, we got richdickman.com for all your rich Dickman needs. Hell Eight, yeah, six, boy. Oh. 316-4776 voice my line uh hit up rim at rim dickman uh, he, he loves the he loves the twitter and all the social media he loves it definitely attention. political he stuff and all the political stuff to him yeah all the yeah. <laughs> he loves it he loves it uh, i've been actually today i am on a campaign to fix rim uh, oh musically okay. yeah because he's like hey dude what do you think about volbeat like, go uh. fuck yourself, Rem. I don't think about Volbeat ever. Because <laughs> I've fucking... Because I've heard them, and then I erase them from my memory. He's like Except for when they come on the radio, I they... Mmm, the guy's fucking voice, like... I he sounds like a male version of Cher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. He totally fucking does, dude. Okay, I'm like, gonna have to listen to that when I'm done here. He's fucking five finger death punching it sometimes, uh. and like just terrible shit. So today I told him to listen to Carnival's album Sound Awake, which is a masterpiece of an album. It's Australian prog rock. It is it's fucking good stuff, and he liked it. So now I'm just gonna start getting him in the right direction of not <laughs> listening to fucking ooh wah ah 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 fucking bullshit uh. on uh, on his free time. Ooh, the radio gives us the worst version um, of yeah. music. If you now that you're in our Discord, I know you were kind of there before, but if you actually look, it's pretty much weekly. One time, Rem will check in with Dylan, like, "What about this band?" Dylan just go, <laughs> "Fucking no!" <laughs> <laughs> I usually wake up to it because it's super early. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, he's a he, coaster dude. He texts me, and I'm like, "Fuck, it's four in the fucking morning, man." <laughs> <laughs> although, although I'm sure he's always like, I text him at like right now, and he's like, Jesus fucking Christ, he sent me a text at 1.30? You know, so I sure go out that Gotcha. Oh, we need to fix that. We need to fix, before we fix RAM, we need to fix the whole East Coast, West Coast time, well, all that bullshit. Everybody it's should be on them. Arizona time because we're the one true time because we don't change. I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Us and Hawaii have to fight it out because they don't change either, but who's the real we, true time? Yeah, but we, Hawaii is like tiny. Yeah. We're like the, <laughs> yeah. Kick their ass. We're like the atomic <laughs> clock. We're never wrong. Yeah. yeah. Well, my master plan is this. I love San Diego, uh, so I'm going to move there one day. That's awesome. I'm a, huge, I'm a huge Arizona Cardinals fan, so I'll uh, be close enough Why? to the game. Don't they always or, lose? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's There's no real explanation. I like them. Uh, <laughs> One of these days, I'll, I'll go to one of those games down there and uh, maybe hit you guys up. Yeah, come hang out when the coof is yeah. over, if it's ever over. Come yeah. tailgate with me. Oh, yeah, you look at the Pat Tillman statue. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just stand Ooh. there, a tear rolling down her eyes. Damn. <laughs> um, Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Well, melt, melt, melt a cum cube on his head. Before you go, I had one question to ask everybody. Yeah. I want everybody's answer. Since mm -hmm. COVID is inev inevitable, we're all going to get it. Where would you rather get it? Walmart or a Target? Target. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say tar Target's a little more upscale. Like Target's like Target's the in between of yeah. Kohl's and Walmart. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
you're, you're talking about uh, uh, contracting COVID? Yes, like... Okay, Walmart, absolutely, hands down. Hands Walmart? Down. You want the strongest, okay. like, homeless no, version no, of it? No, no, that's the thing. <laughs> Those people are, in my opinion, you got the strong people, in my opinion, maybe, maybe I'm seeing it wrong, but strong people going into Target, right? I mean, you might be onto something, because you go there at 2 a.m., and they're just all sitting there wearing their wolf print fucking graced t-shirts with their kids just dirty as shit rolling around on the ground licking everything like they might have immune systems for for days you, you guys are thinking about this all wrong <laughs> i don't i don't want to go to walmart <laughs> ever i know yeah. i just want to go i'll just go to target well i'm just saying like if i was to contract covid i'd rather it be from any of you than the guy than the the crackhead buying fucking the yeah. little like flask of fucking the cheapest whiskey in front of me at a.m. p.m. At least it isn't <laughs> Kmart. Oh, that Kmart no would be sense. the worst. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. What? COVID would sm- Those the COVID, what you the just COVID, said, what you said, I don't know. The, that doesn't make any COVID sense. Why, would why does it like matter if, if you got it from a Because it's inevitable. It's inevitable. So you guys feel cleaner yeah. to me. Oh. Would you rather get COVID from a crackhead or me? Dave's got a fucking hole in his face, bro. I don't want anything. I'd rather get it. I'd rather get it from you because the crackhead might have also given me AIDS. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why Target touched, feels cleaner to me. Because he pushed his blood hole up against mine. See, and I was thinking that the person in Walmart has a weaker immune system, so that you might, if they're surviving with it, oh, then you're getting weaker that variant. That's what I'm thinking. You threw a so wrench. Think, so it's like an antibody. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you're getting the weak version of COVID. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, is that I don't know. We were having this the last version? patch, right? It's a tough one. Yeah. We were having well, you this. Know what? I'll, I'll carry around a fanny pack with a little liner, you know, a little liner uh, <laughs> that, that keeps keep things cool in there, keep some breast milk in there, maybe a little squirt gun. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, just, dude. Uh, if I did it, I just. <laughs> If somebody coughs at you at a gas pump, just do a boof of titty <laughs> milk. <laughs> just boo, boo, boof some titty milk. Yeah, just boof some camel pack. Sort of, just sort of just toss one of those. Off. Just toss one of those dick-shaped fucking titty milk cu- ice cubes up your butthole. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bink. Good to go. Uh, fucking. I don't know. We're prison pocket. We were having this conversation at work. We're like, I'd rather get it from you guys than some of these fucking customers. Just it just feels it just feels better. Customers. <laughs> So what do you want to have a COVID party? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's inevitable that everybody's going to get it. So where would you rather get it from? I'm just saying. Um, We should do that. We should do a cough on you or something. I don't know. uh, No, I don't want it. Let's do a COVID party and we'll all stay quarantined together (laughs) with it. And we'll build antibodies and and our own immune, uh, our own immunity to it. Dude, that'd be a dope reality show. We'll touch oh, our yeah, buttholes fucking... together like fucking Power Rangers or whatever, and fucking this is a <laughs> big fucking anime glow cats out of the middle. Buttholes combined. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna put fifteen uh, people in a house, and one yeah, of them COVID has world. COVID, <gasps> and we're gonna watch it spread through the house and see how they uh, interact with each other. As True they, story. Down. That's a good one. Jay's yeah, out back. COVID, COVID Every world. room will have a venti. <laughs> they can coof on the venti. <laughs> Jay's out back coofing on a venti. Is that a big coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, well, Dave didn't think it was cool, but I that was just a conversation at work, so yeah, I just threw it out like there. Very pishaw about it. Pishaw? I don't it want it. I'm, a, I'm it's saying it's a virus. I know, but you can get things from clean. Virus. You can get things from cleaner people. <laughs> That's true. Right? Don't be so analytical. Your COVID's got AIDS. Sorry, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly, I mean, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we, were talking, we were talking to this Priory Society last night about this, and they're talking about they're like these couples are gorgeous. This lady's hot. She's blonde. She looks like a farm girl. Looks like Jessica Simpson. Whatever. They're, they're talking. They're describing these people, and you're like, holy fuck! Like this is a dream, right? And then they get into the so the person's you know uh, they're 69ing, and then all of a sudden there's a turd coming out of their asshole. Whoa! And it's going in and out, in and out. Oh, hey, tell me more. <laughs> And all like I'm a tattoo is, needle in slow motion. Yeah, yeah and all I'm thinking is this perfect person is not so perfect, right? That's all it is. Human for humans. Like, you're, if you're gonna get shit, you're gonna get shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, <laughs> we're all shitty in some way or another. Like, quit, quit being intimidated by people. We're, with, <sighs> we're, we're all good. We're all good. We're all the same. One of the worst stories ever told on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy from the family friendly podcast, Dave. End up getting that COVID. <laughs> Oh, Jesus 
There, there's some herpes on that COVID you got at that AMPM gas pump. Is all I'm saying, COVID. Dave. Come on. My COVID's got herpes. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'd be significantly less pissed if Jay coughed on me than some of these people at the AMPM by your place. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> that's, the, that's the point, bitch. You'd, you'd get a weak version of it because most of it would just stick in my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> like a filter. Mm-hmm. Like a pop filter. Ugh. All right, so, like I said, you're welcome to chill for the rest of the show if you want, but we're going to fucking uh, s- slide into a little bit of some what Dylan had going on because, uh, so... It's up to you. I know you're the, you're a guest. Are you gonna you gonna chill or are you gonna bounce? You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll just hang out. I'll, okay, I'll let me yeah, let me it. refresh my drinks while you guys get into that. And, uh, yeah, we also have a break coming up where we then we do the second yeah. half of the show. That's all user submission stuff. So yeah, okay. Br five. Good shit. Br five. So Dylan. Yep. Baby you girl. Ready, Dylan? You had <laughs> you had a week, bro. Are you um, are you still <laughs> panicking with your band? I stopped panicking. Don't completely the, your band don't panic you uh well i'll let you go listen <laughs> if somebody Lord writes a synth like wave that. song and then someone asks to have the synth taken out of the song because they don't like it then they don't like mm-hmm. synth wave they shouldn't be in a synth wave sounding band that's I, yeah. well yeah well, wave I mean, sounds terrible it's just wave at that point <laughs> yeah i wish you would have just sent back a fucking drum beat Took the synth out. That was just drums, you dumb fucking idiot. Uh, Analog wave? (laughs) Yeah. So, (laughs) long story short, I don't know really how it happened, but the chain of events was silent band chat for three or four months because nobody's doing anything. Well, there's nothing but time. There's nothing but time. finished songs waiting for vocals, which... When vocals are done, then cello can be done. Mm-hmm. Can't do them. It, it, you gotta have the vocals before the cello, because then the cello is just gonna fight the vocals, and then you have to redo it anyway, right? Yeah. So the singer. Ideally, you doing, sit down and you write it together. Well, we're in a fucking pandemic, and you can't do that. So whatever, you know, just do your part. Just do your fucking part. Just sing your songs. Like here's the song. Here's the song. The song's finished. It's been finished. Everything's done. <laughs> All you have to do is sing. That's all you gotta do, you stupid fucking asshole. You just gotta sing on the fucking song. Your one job in the entire fucking band is to open your mouth, but all you do is say nothing for months at a time until someone sends a new song in, and then you bitch about the new song and say you don't like the fucking synth in the fucking synthwave song, you stupid fucking asshole. God damn it. See, I wasn't mad, but now I'm mad. Get pissed, dude. So. (laughs) (laughs) So I, knowing who I am and the way that I am to people when they do things that I think is stupid, I'm going to be mean to you. It's just, it's it's inevitable. I'm going to be a mean person because you're, you deserve it. You, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, you see how they were dressed? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. So like you're bullying, bullying a girl, dude. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I just m- muted the chat <laughs> completely, and I'm like, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna step away from this, and I'm not gonna respond. Let's see, let's see what happens. Because I was like, what happened was someone said why don't we just record vocals and cello and then we'll work around that stuff and add synths back into it or whatever, you know, like uh, it's a good suggestion. Yeah. So, so I said in what 10 months, <laughs> what about oh. all the other songs that we're waiting on vocals for that haven't been done or touched or nobody even talks about until somebody does something in here. Like, come on. <laughs> and then someone's like, Oh no, we scrapped all those songs. Like, what the fuck do you mean? We scrapped all these songs. Scroll up, Dylan. <laughs> It was like scroll up to like April when she said she didn't like the songs, so that now like everybody agreed on them, including her at one point in time. But all, but she's not creative enough to fucking sing on them apparently. So now they're just trash. So I waste my goddamn time. It's a waste of fucking time to sit fucking there like broads. It doesn't even matter with the broad dudes are just as bad. It's it's singers. It's fucking singers, bro. It's not. It's, there's nothing else to it. It's fucking people who sing. But we had to wait for her <laughs> Majesty. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's no. getting called. She she knows the power she has to 
she runs a band she doesn't contribute to. I don't know what the fuck happened. Okay. Oh, man. So that guitar player must be simping hard, huh? Yeah. Sim- I did simp I did wave. side side text him going, You simp, simp on this wave. so hard. Oh don't panic, simp wave. That's Dane's joke. Oh, my God. This is oh. God, this is probably gonna get back to the people that Nah. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Who cares? I don't, fuck you, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, see, I'm friends with her. Come on. <laughs> hey, you could be friends don't and be hear all the way rude. Hey, Dave, you can hear a story and still be friends. It's no. It's jokes. Yeah. I didn't mean that. <laughs> what I meant to say is, you fucking cunt, you stupid, oh. stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. sing. Just sing on the song. That's all you had to do. Um, so I left the chat, whatever. <laughs> so then I started getting text messages. Fuck. And phone calls. Oh, and tagged in the... It, and more like getting tagged in the group chat to where I'm getting notifications. I just... <laughs> like, you know what? I'm gonna finish Clone Wars, watch some Star Wars, I'm gonna go to bed. I fucking... <laughs> and then you didn't. <laughs> no, I did. No, oh. I did. I went to bed. Woke up the next day, could see that there were messages and texts, like, no, nah, yeah. ignored it all. Went to work, <laughs> ignored it all day, ignored it all through the afternoon. And then I get a, a message from uh, Simp Boy uh, <gasps> that. Uh, <laughs> 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 but he's like, so, so are you gonna are you gonna get in here? Or like, what what's going on? I'm like, yeah, I took I'm I stepped away on purpose, so I'm not gonna be mean to anybody. It's a, it's a good thing, trust me. <laughs> and then I get tagged on a fucking post that I made in the Facebook group for the podcast. Oh, <laughs> and that good was the final fucking. Alive. Sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good Holy to know you're still shit, alive. I'm gonna come. <laughs> we could really, we could really use you in the don't panic group chat right now. Oh, you got called out like in a different place. <laughs> in his in a safe space. Yeah, got come called to- out. Do not come to my place of employment. <laughs> <laughs> On my I'll good meme. It's your job and tell you how to suck dick. Oh. In the meme, it was, it was, the meme was great too. That that it, the comment was on. It was a two Amazon orders that were being shipped. One was a jar and one was a fucking quark from Deep Space Nine figurine. Oh yeah, so you could jerk off on fucking quarks. The yeah, cum, yeah, yeah. quark so, in a cum jar. <laughs> don't don't ruin my cum meme with your fucking bullshit band bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin my cum meme. So I was like, Did you know, you ever think you were gonna appreciate a cum meme more than being in a band? <laughs> no, <laughs> could not have predicted that one. No. So I'm like, all right, this is what you fucking want. This is what you fucking want. So I went in there and I just, <laughs> I just started laying the fuck into people. And then I get the, I will not be bullied into working on songs that I don't vibe with. Whoa, okay, God. here we fucking go. I oh man. I, she said, I'm not your workhorse or your whipping boy or whatever. And I, I, I had so many things written out and deleted and written and deleted and written and deleted. And you ain't working, going. so at this point, you're just the horse. Oh, yeah. man. Dude, I was getting so... And I wasn't even, like, mad at the time. I thought it was, like... Because I was, I was laying into some, some reality shit. Like, this is what's going on. No one's waiting on me. Yeah, my dr- my drums have been done for six months on these songs. So like, just fucking sing on the song. I was like, <laughs> Jeff can't Jeff can't do everything for everyone. Is is my uh, I kept saying that because like he writes her vocal melodies from what I understand, <clears throat> or something like that. Maybe we'll lose friends over this. Th- th- that could be a true thing or not. Who knows? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, so I just you know I laid into it and she's like, well if you don't. Do you want to rectify this situation or no? Or da, da, da. And I said, you know what? Nah. And I just <laughs> left the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of me. Pan- that was the end of panic. Oh. oh fuck I you. Land the Lion Lakes fucking posted it in the uh, in the Discord oh. little chat you had. Yeah. <laughs> to know you're alive. Sweet with Jesus. A- <laughs> we have a convo going in the DP chat. It would be super awesome if you'd chime in. I said, good luck. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's funny is Dylan's like incredibly easy to be in a band with. Like, there's zero yeah. problems I've at let all. Everyone, a problem I've let it. everyone not do anything for six months and haven't said anything about it. <laughs> we even had thing- we even had issues in our shit, and he was still fine with it because it was still progress within issues. Like, it was still something happening. 
Yeah. yeah. How are you going to scrap every... Dude, we went through, like, a folder that had, like, 50 songs in it, and I detailed what I liked and didn't like about each of the songs. I'm the only one that did that. And then we picked <laughs> the ones that we all agreed to work on, yeah. and then... <laughs> <laughs> fucking apparently people don't know how to do the part that they only do in the band like you're a vocalist you write lyrics and you sing the vocals yeah if you don't do any of that then we don't have a song problem we have a fucking singer problem and i said actually said that in the group <laughs> chat which was like a, <laughs> it was, a, was a pretty good solid jab i think <laughs> like i don't even give a shit like oh uh, I was fully yeah. torqued when you're all mad about it, dude. I was just fucking... Holy shit, I'm gonna not, come! Not uh, losing sleep over it. Matt loves it when people quit bands. Oh, man, when people <laughs> quit bands in fiery ways, dude, a fucking... Yeah, that's why Matt <laughs> likes why me, because I've quit. <laughs> uh, I quit Hotto, I quit Encaged, I quit Cruffix, I quit Don't Panic, I've quit... I've quit a lot of bands, bro. I'm good quit. at it. No, quitting nobody's bands is not a fucking quit. personality, dude. <laughs> nobody's quit as good as I have. After the band practice is over, the guy shows up to buy all your gear, and you go, I'm done. That's... F oh, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, that, I'm that gonna is. come. <laughs> and, have, and have one of your bandmates help carry one of your cabinets. Oh, that's... Dude, you... <laughs> that's alpha shit right there. You explained sure. that much better right now than the first time you told me, kind of, like, the okay. rough idea of that. That's fucking yeah. awesome. Fuck. Yep. Oh, just for day. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I uh, I won't be at band break. Get your hands up. <laughs> In the middle of all that, though, the first day after <laughs> ignoring the chat, yeah. I wrote a song for Matt, so maybe he'll... I'm writing guitar something. for it. How many yes. fingers are on the guitar? How many fingers on the guitar? Of oh, strings. Uh, just six. Oh, oh, he's using the fucking... The, 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 tele tele the Telecaster. Oh, I could have written some bass for you had they not canceled my fucking card. <laughs> Get your hands up. So r rest in peace, your card. Yeah, rest in piss. And fuck, don't panic. Oh, holy shit, I'm gonna come. <laughs> you know what, though? Being in a band where you gotta sit in your own room and, like, write your own parts and record your own parts and send them and put together with somebody, like, that doesn't sound fun to me at all. Like, it's, 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 if you need to do that a couple of times here and there, that's great. Uh, but I don't. That's all I wanted this project to be. Studio I just wanted shit. to release music. Like that's all I wanted. Just like I was like, this will be easy to release. Cool music because everybody's good at this. And <laughs> we've done two songs in like a year. Yeah, one of them was even good. And one of them was even good. <laughs> I agree. I, I think those were two of the worst songs we could have chose. Oh, out of all of ones. them! Holy shit! Yeah, th but the, the other ones got one scrapped. Fire. The other one. So, what would you rather have? Would you rather be in a group with a bunch of people that are super talented and good at writing stuff that never communicate and don't get anything done, or a couple of people that aren't really the best of musicians, but they're always there to write and try to put stuff out, and they're always there to do stuff? I want to be in a band with Matt. Was well, that wasn't one of the options. <laughs> 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 Like, Jay looks so <laughs> suck that head stop. <laughs> oh, I got this. I got a suckable Matt, head. You got a very suckable head. I got stop. a suckable yeah. head. Let's go. It's because <laughs> I can come up with an idea, but I never know how to finish it. And then I just be like, "Hey, here." Mm -hmm. And then he's like, "Here's all the fucking salt and pepper and the fucking the flavors and the fucking." The and it tastes good. Yeah, Dylan. It's a tasty jam at that point. Dylan sucks half a dick. I come in and finish you off inside me. Is what yeah. is Maddie, what's going on? Maddie Kumite, two songs in a year. Fucking overachievers. Oh, <laughs> how terminally local are you, brother? <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, it was it was a good day. I hate Thanks. seeing you mad and upset about stuff but you write good things after it so i'm just gonna emotionally terrorize you to give me good more good, yeah more good tracks oh, don't worry i do it to myself plenty yeah did you hurt <laughs> your own feelings this week I, I, I can hurt my own feelings anytime i need to i can hurt my uh, own i can stop anytime i want <laughs> i can hurt my own feelings <laughs> i wipe my own teeth <laughs> oh well that that was yeah i mean i've done more vocals on a song than she has in like the last six months <laughs> you sing? No. <laughs> I heard no, him I though. Don't. I heard him. I I I got a ju a judge track. I did. Does it sound I did like sing. Does Was it, it sound like, like T Pain? It did sound like T Pain because it's all auto tuned. No, it sounded good. Sing. 
It sounded good though. It was all dancey as shit, brother. You know. Fucking uh, anything else you want to add in there, Dylan? Uh, that was pretty spicy, dude. And I fucking your your madness, yeah. I, I appreciated because <laughs> I can think of at least three people that are gonna be like mad at me by association, guaranteed. Nah, nah if they are, who gives a shit? Like, then that means they're cowards oh. hey, because they can't hey. go to the actual <laughs> case. Listen, listen to me. If you're mad right now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> you. <s> <laughs> <laughs> the one person though totally shits on everybody except that one person though so it's really funny I don't know. yeah it's hey 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 i'm sorry <laughs> i gotta look into the camera seductively <laughs> oh All you can see are your eyebrows raising did you ever do any band stuff ray in your youth no i am absolutely terrible uh singing wise musically uh, uh, I, I did ask for a guitar uh, for Christmas one year. I got it. Uh, and I think I played for like three hours. Oh, uh, like my fingers <laughs> oh, over about two months. And I was like, my fingers hurt. I'm done. So I uh, let let my brother in law take the guitar because he actually knows how to play. Oh, well, that's, that's good. That's, of you. Uh, good on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the music and me. Not, not a great match. You'd be surprised how many bands in Phoenix take your level of talent and interest in it and just can make full fucking bands and just fart it out on stage yeah. for 30 minutes at a time. Yeah, and they think, right in. And then you can hear that their fingers hurt. <laughs> and, then they, <laughs> and, and then they make posts on Facebook, like, look yeah. familiar of a fucking the worst looking drum set of all fucking time. <laughs> Man, oh, we're really not supporting like, the scene right now. Who the we? fuck names your band latency? That's an audio <laughs> issue. <laughs> you named your band after an audio issue. <laughs> we're uh, thanks for coming, everybody. We are out of tune. <laughs> Oh, uh, because I know Rem's got a musical background. He was in he, he, the, the, the whole hot drummer news babe. That was his old drummer. Yeah, fucking well, rad, he, dude. In his youth, Rem had a hot chick drummer dude no that wasn't even that was like 2015 16 that was only a couple years ago Rem um, wasn't a band and, that soon yeah it was not that long ago Holy and not only that shit. so he did at some point learn to play an instrument yeah if you will i he, he will tell you he's not like an expert <laughs> <Spin flute. at> <laughs> yeah, there you go. but he definitely was lead singer performer performer he'll tell you performer oh. uh, not so much musically talented by his own admission. Oh, so he's like the stage dancer for fucking mighty yeah. mighty boston or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. hey man there there's some people that can do the job but they're creative like creatively void so like you just tell them how to do it and then they you just hand them a baseball bat and say hit this keg on every eight count <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. did you get into anything dave Oh, uh, no, my week fucking sucked. It was exactly like last week. It was exactly <laughs> like the week before. Um, the COVID shit is definitely just fun. a grind. I kind of got like a sinus infection going on a little bit this morning. Um, Ooh, like, like, probably all, down that, all that wind and shit. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what happened. I get these sometimes or whatever. I bet you kept that shit to yourself this time, didn't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ain't nothing like putting it out on the well, internet. Yeah, recorded. I'm stuck at home anyway. That's like, true. It, like I, I i said oh i got i got a mild ear infection you know three weeks ago and they're like oh you gotta go fuck you gotta go home and like you know go get go get tested and you know whatever and then, all right i'm good to come back to work and they're like no you can't our census is too low you got to keep working from zoom so so I'm, now i'm just stuck here More i didn't realize that if i left i couldn't come back and <laughs> i mean I, I i like where i live but i'd like to leave it every now and then you know Gotcha. And, uh, not mean, that I do, I, you know, outside. I'll go outside sometimes. Sure. But <laughs> go Jesus outside Christ. sometimes. And this, I just spent fucking like 39 hours staring at pretty much this. This is Zoom yeah, to me. Like, but now we talk about fucking, cum. You guys are just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is You're just my work here. week, you know? <laughs> Fuck Fridays suck. <laughs> uh, we are a special group. I'm, a, yeah, we I'm, talk I'm, about I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh. uh it's a uh, digital it's, hangout. It's, it's fine. You're fine. No, this is fine. Absolutely. No, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I'm just fucking over this. Yeah. I'm gonna. Th I think I'm gonna become an anti-masker and move to Washington <laughs> or something. I don't know. Do hey, it. Arizona's trending con down on content. everything. Arizona's yeah, trending yeah, down on everything. Well, yeah, great. But I'm still gonna fucking sit here for the next fucking probably month. <laughs> 
Like oh, you think a month? That's that's adorable. <laughs> it's gonna go so sight. much longer, dude. That, they were talking yourself. about <clears throat> record numbers, record numbers. Yeah, like one percent of California has gotten it. Like record numbers, my ass. Tip oh yeah, you guys are. Sh- you guys are like, shutting down like hard again. No, but that's what everyone's like acting like this is as bad as it's gonna get, dude. If one percent of the population has confirmed cases. Yeah, That's, yeah, we're a long. They ways say it's out, something man. like thirteen times as many, at least. Well, what we what the, we're testing the point for still right remains. Now. Like, if one percent's confirmed, like, yeah, there's going to be a ton more. But like, we're a long way from over unless they get a vaccine, which hopefully they do. Because they think is, they're thinking, I'm with you, man. This is old. They're thinking by like Christmas, a Christmas vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. and, I was able to I'm deliver the best gift to, to the United States. So is the vaccine States. even going to fucking matter? Oh, I don't shit. know. Uh, not with the anti-vaxxers, which are the anti-maskers. Same, one of the same people. Well, yeah, they are one of the same. They started out as just little old chem trailers. Yeah, <laughs> now look what happened. They, they've soared yeah. through the sky, no mask in sight. You left. I, mean, I did. Th- I did things this week. Uh, watched a lot of fucking TV, of course, or whatever. Nothing really good. I watched shit I've already seen. For some oh, reason, I decided Norse, to watch Hell Norseman on Wheels for the third out, time. Dave, Hell watch, what? The new, watch the new season of Norseman. Oh, yeah, I did watch an episode of that, and it was funny. I meant to, but I was tired, and I didn't want to fall asleep, so I shut it off. <laughs> that was last night. Um, I've been playing a lot of Cities Skylines because it's a good game. You can let idle, you know, and I'm doing Zoom classes, and, like, I mostly <laughs> moderate those. I only teach, <laughs> you know, dancing a couple times and playing a week. Video games. I'd rather you play well, Zoom than nap, because remember last week, you're like, I just checked everybody in, then went to bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was shitty of me, wasn't it? I'm a, I'm a terrible person, that's for sure. Um, God, what else? What else, Dylan? <laughs> Dylan what, else, what else did I? What, what, what else did I do? Dylan this week? called was, Dave out for up. what else? <laughs> well, now it's a bit. It, it, it wasn't at first. You caught yourself doing it. And then you no, no, what's no. Happening. Well, but now I know that it pisses you off. So even if it falls out, like, great, great, it's even better. It doesn't uh, piss me off. It oh, just makes you oh, look bad. No. So remember that? I, I mentioned it. I bought it last Friday. Fault uh, is that Paragon remake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've actually been playing that. I put about five hours in, got maybe six games. Nice. And they were all like easy to get into, and everything went well. I only had one like weird disconnect crash thing, and I was able to reconnect to the game. Like it, it, They're doing a good job on that. Uh, um had a lot of fun and i think i'll keep playing that play some call of duty with me tomorrow i'm on pc now all right yeah. what time like nine uh, nine I'll, or ten yes Ooh. i'll get on that I, I you're, all, you're all ps4 done it's still the same game you can still connect nine or ten a.m matt no PM. i know it's the same i know you can still play but i'm just saying oh yeah you know, no i got it on ps4 now you're all pc'd out yeah well, but it's still cross-platform. Uh huh. Yeah. So we're. I know that's not what I. Did you not hear what I just he, said? He just I said I know that it is PS4 anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean game specific. I meant in, PlayStation Four in general. Not in he general. Just for, that. Just that he, game. I swapped it because it, it's yeah. just. And you did Battlefront. So my also. question. Mm. You switch Battlefront Two over to PC. No, that's to play with Home Slice, which it's his birthday, like in an hour. Ooh, so torpedo. Happy birthday! Happy Home birthday, Slice. Home Slice! Where's my fucking sound? Congratulations on making your way out of your mother's vagina. Yeah, Everybody! Congratulations on not dying this year. Get your hands up! And uh, I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> Pass. What'd you do di- uh, there? Jay! You almost call- Did you almost call me you? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, Dave? <laughs> oh. Make it good because I sucked. Uh, I suck at Dave. You be good. <laughs> Um, it's not going to be as good as last week. I have no poops. I mean, uh, I have poops. I have hey, poops hey like you did a public week. service announcement of clean your goddamn, like, thermos cup thing. Yeah. Don't be a filthy fucking animal. Come on! Clean your shit. <laughs> that was make, sure, make sure if you have left some sort of uh, festering beverage inside of your bubba or thermos or... <laughs> what uh, whatever whatever cup you choose you to clean use the on a daily basis, lump out, cock ring. You have to tear it completely apart <laughs> down to its bare fucking bones <laughs> and fucking sanitize each piece. Otherwise, the same, same thing can be said for your flashlight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> treat yeah, like, uh, like, your like treat every your week. Hydro I gotta take flasks. like I, I gotta cap the bead in my Prince Albert. If I don't treat- take the bead out, shit starts to build up in there. No matter oh, how how much I clean it. Oh, oh your yeah, dick well. smells like the back of an ear. 
Yeah, that's your cover. Oh, that's, back that's, of a a tuck- that's a that's a tucked away dick accessory, though. <laughs> that's true. But public service announcement: oh. clean your fucking hydro flasks. Hold your dick them, jewelry. Scrub them. Yeah, clean your dick jewelry is a good episode title. Definitely clean your dick accessories. <laughs> just clean, bro. Just, dick and dick yeah. accessories. Well, this is why we have the virus, because you motherfuckers aren't cleaning your dick piercings. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Do you have, like, a special toothbrush? Like, one extra toothbrush just to When Dave was adopted, no. and he was sucking on his Did dad's pierced it? nipple, oh, he Jesus. caught the virus early on. <laughs> And now he's passing it through his dick piercing. I just picture uh, Dave so latched. <laughs> I'm hanging. <laughs> you're always, so oh. latched, you're hanging? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no. Ah, it's, so, yeah, it's good, it's good everybody, times. don't fucking... Don't have yourself a crap avalanche like I do. <laughs> and clean your shit. Otherwise, you fucking destroy your butthole. Oh. Speaking of speaking of shitting, I was in the porta potty today, and it's getting it's getting definitely it's, has it. It's getting real. Oh yeah, those things are full of fucking something. <laughs> it's probably COVID, worse than Rona for sure. Fucking COVID farts. Dylan, but people, take an antibody test. You got to be the one with it. I definitely have it. We've been, you know. I know. It's I don't. Good. I don't need a doctor to tell me I got the Rona. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he works in construction con- too, and he's had like the he yelled at his whole company, and they started mandating shit because Dylan added on Twitter. Them on Twitter and shit a whole bunch. I, 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 I think at, I saw you work for McCarthy or something. No, 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 that's the contractor. That, right? <laughs> oh, fuck them, fuck McCarthy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I work for them a lot. I, I don't. I don't work for them. The company you know, okay. I work yeah, for yeah. is hired to do yeah. the job yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, but in the porta potties, people are now turning the swastikas into little windows. <laughs> they just, the Windows logo. Oh my God. They, they the Windows the, logo. <laughs> <laughs> there's two swastikas behind, like on the back wall. Oh, man, so you got swastikas on your back walls, uh, oh. and they and they just oh. filled them in all the way. And made those are like scars windows. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dylan has informed us that most construction workers are racist as shit. It's oh, like it's a, bad. It's yeah, bad. It's super. Well, sad. It, and you also like in construction, you just have people that are just fucking morons. Like it's just coronavirus. Yeah, that's, yeah, they're that's like, why they're in construction. Oh no, absolutely. Uh, no Damn. offense, Dylan. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> listen. To I work. In, I work in technology. I'm not a construction worker. I'm, I'm low voltage. <laughs> okay. Like I'm in the. I'm in the, I'm in the smart okay. area. He's trying to weasel He's out a of cable it. jockey. But so here's what I happened. run. Like, I build fucking data networks, bro. I don't fucking build walls. All right, let's let's just get it straight here. I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't draw swastikas and porta potties. Do you build or do you? That goes there. You need to make that go there. <laughs> yeah, that works. Is that well, but here's how dumb is everyone dumb. is. Is like they're like, all right, we gotta we gotta combat this coronavirus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the porta potties. That's our number one priority. <laughs> We're gonna like spray these motherfuckers down on the inside. Like we're gonna hose these, like literally hose them down every hour. That's gonna do it. And so my guys come back from the job site. They're like, yeah, I can't take a shit. I can't piss. Like the toilet paper's soaking wet. Like it's a, it's a fucking. <laughs> Uh, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, how is this fixing anything? Like, Somebody's like, like fuck who? these guys. <laughs> like, no one thinks anything through at all. It's just fucking stupid. Dude, there's a new thing I've noticed, though. Like, okay, so, like, somebody tagged inside, like, like an actual, like, graffiti-looking tag. Which, you know, whatever. That's pretty common, too. But someone commented, because people have conversations in porta-potties. And it's all fuck, fuck you, no fuck you, no fuck your mom. It's just like dumb shit like that. <laughs> like oh. comments, like yeah, high, high level construction. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Facebook, dude. It's it's analog Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it smells like shit, and there's fucking Nazis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it smells like shit and Nazis. <laughs> but so there's like this tag, and then someone comments above it fucking YouTube thug. I'm like, is that a new insult? Like, what the fuck does that even <laughs> mean? Thug. Bunch of fucking y- you loser YouTube thugs in here. I don't I don't know what oh, that I means. But yeah. that's the that's new, new uh, that's what uh, white supremacists are calling whoever is tagging <laughs> in porta potties. It, it, it works. Huh? So, Wait, here's what we, we had it. happen on a construction site. So we're, we're a subcontractor, so we, we gotta deal with the uh, general contractor. So uh, two days ago, Wednesday, 
we called the job site said hey you guys still gonna be ready for us tomorrow and they said no one of the guys uh, showed up to, you know we were talking to the superintendent they're like yeah some another subcontractor showed up today and this guy standing face to face with me said yeah i got my covid test back yesterday i'm positive and he's like what the fuck are you doing here on the job site, you dumbass? Like, you're literally you're talking to me. Like, how fucking stupid wow. are you? So now the, the superintendent's quarantined, like, his assistant, like, everyone's oh. shut down. Like, oh. it's like, you literally just tested positive and you walked on the job site and said, yeah, I tested positive. Like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> so, anyway, that's, that's This is why America is show. doing worse than any country ever. <laughs> yeah. We literally can't go anywhere. Our whole country be, cannot because go Because of construction <laughs> yeah. workers. Oh, yeah, yeah because of you assholes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dicks. Yeah, pretty Who would have thought that fucking several hundred dollar passport would be worth zero dollars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man. Uh, um, I had a... Uh, um, yes? I had it out at work with uh, my supervisors. And um, did you yell so at him? I am, yeah, I did. Oh, um, no. And uh, so I still have a job. Oh, okay, they're, that's good. Fucking, that's good. They're all they're all they're terrified that I'm gonna leave. But <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's, that's a fucking funny, flex, bro. Yeah. The funny <laughs> thing was, because uh, it all came down to uh, a client I'm dealing with. They're they're just not they're not they're not falling in line of what they need to do. Not picking so up what you're putting I, down. Yeah. So I brought it up to my my higher ups and. Uh, one of them was on the, the fisting lady was on my pa- on the same page, right? <laughs> of course she and was. Like, I'll show him. Yeah. I'll show him. And she shook her fist. So she so wanted to listen to your tur- Comcast. It, yeah, it turned into a conversation <laughs> with uh, the conversation. with the client and um, uh, my other my main boss. I give him the rundown and uh, when we got on the phone with this client, she fucking just didn't have my back and fucking threw me right under the bus Oof. and i was like what the fuck so i sat there completely dead fucking quiet the whole time during this fucking conference and through this meeting and i left and i went over to my desk and i shut everything down and said i'm fucking leaving as my uh, as my i've got several supervisors <laughs> he, he come up behind me to say something to me and uh i turned around to him i said Look, I'm not trying to be rude. I said, but I don't want to fucking talk right now. I'm going home. I fucking shut my shit down and fucking left. But as I left, I got an email. A friend of mine asked, was asking if anybody was looking for a job. And as a joke, I threw it out there, like saying, I'm pretty good with uh, printing stuff and signing stuff. So I'm kind of all around, (laughs) like good with paper and ink. Yeah, and like that was my response, and he was like, well, "They send me your email." I'm like, "Oh," and so I send it. I'm like, ah, "Are you joking?" Because I totally was. He's like, ah, "Throw it out there." <laughs> so I, so right after I get done with all the shit at work, go out to my truck and fucking email, and it's that place. Oh, so you have a new job? Re- uh, well, no, I don't have a new job, but oh. I'm getting my. I gotta get a. Re- I'm gonna get a resume together and fucking hopefully make a make a lot more money. Whoa, and fucking. Yeah, because once you once you do something like that to me at a job, any job I've had, I'm instantly looking for a new job. You know, fucking, I, I was. They just, disrespected was, your being. Oh, big time, big time, and I'm in the right for a hundred percent. Yeah, I'm in the right on this whole fucking deal. Fuck yeah. So that was shitty, but it's well, also right. you know I might I just gotta Dylan's I gotta update right my, now, my dude. resume. I gotta I like update this. my resume. Holy and, shit! Um, I'm gonna come. You know, Hopefully right, I can get my my hands on a fucking uh, on a better job. That'd be great. Oh. So other than that, nothing uh, crazy. You're gonna send I in did. your fucking. You're you're gonna send in your walking papers. Yeah. They're gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Sl- I'm just gonna fucking slap a fucking uh, a watermark of semen on there and be like, "There's my fucking signature." Ooh, stop. hire me. Jay's walking papers have slight limp to them, though. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. He's all broken. Jay's, yeah. papers. <laughs> Jay's limping Sorry. papers. Sorry, the, pa- the paper's a little crumpled. <laughs> Jay's limping papers is a great goddamn yeah. episode. I'll we'll forget it later, though. But. Uh, but I did, since I didn't have much going on, I did. I found Craigslist was fucking with me. Every time I try to read something, it would fucking kick me out of Craigslist. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, so I found uh, on the misconnections, Maynard's misconnections. It's been a minute. <laughs> I need a uh, song. <laughs> Damn it! Thirty, 
37 year old chubby and let's play all right uh i'm 37 years and i'm gonna i'm gonna read it verbatim how they how they oh read like most of bad grammar don't. and all <laughs> yeah most oh, don't yes. most don't have the speak well oh wait let me get the jazz going yeah jazz cigarette uh you don't have like porn music we need the saxophone we need, mm -hmm. need some saxophone for sure all right, keep I'm going i'll find it to this I'm 37 years chubby woman. I have black hair. I can or come to your place. How'd she spell come? How did she spell come? C-O-M-E. Uh, right, let me start over. Missed opportunity. C-O-M. <laughs> you gotta let me f go through it because okay. it makes less sense if I don't stop. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> of how they, how they write things. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm 37 years chubby woman. I have black hair. I can or come to your place and looking for someone to fund me and some casual fun. Send your number. Looking for a drummer. Nashville looking for a drummer to jam with. I'm in a band that needs a drummer. Dylan, you're open. Wait, that Three. was the same that was the same post? Yeah. All yeah. That was, yeah. All of very that was, confusing, right? Sounds like a, a very, plot fucked up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very, very confusing. Very convincing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very convincing. I just yeah. quit, don't panic. Right? So, but she's 37, 37, she's 37 years, 37 years chubby woman. <laughs> black, I have black hair. I can I, or come. I can or come to, to your place and looking for someone to fund me. I can't. So, I, I'll fund is her. Like a chip? Is that yeah. a chip? It's she's mm. just, she's just looking for someone to fund her. <laughs> <laughs> Not punch. That's all she wants. Not punch, Dylan. You're out of fucking work yeah. there. Yeah. I can't overcome. <laughs> can't or come. I mean, right? I like, can't overcome. Can, can corn? Can corn? <laughs> I can't. I can't can overcome. Can come? Corn so, Just Ugh. looking, looking for someone to fund me. So. <laughs> she's looking 37. for someone to fund me. <laughs> she's she's thirty seven years chubby woman. She's, she's looking for a drummer in Nashville. I feel like I'm in a loop yeah. right now, and I don't know right? what's going on. <laughs> I'm not even you ready, Dylan? Oh, you can't read it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a 37 years chubby woman. <laughs> I love You're fucking so 41 so, years so chubby boy, it, bro. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but the way she Black wrote it, the way she wrote heaven. it, it sounds like she's been a chubby woman for 37 years. Oh. I'm 37 years chubby woman. <laughs> I'm 41 skinny guy. 41 years skinny guy my that's whole life. Is, yeah, got that as AIDS as weight. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that AIDS that weight's a good Body by chemotherapy. <laughs> Wait. Body by chemo? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I want to get that. That's I want to get ta I want to get tapeworm fit. Tapeworm <laughs> fit? Oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah, so I can just eat whatever I want and then the tapeworm just fucking doesn't let me do anything with it. And just fucking become emaciated. You're eating for two now. Yeah. <laughs> eating well, for two. Well, I'm eating for one and the one isn't me. Oh <laughs> would you would you breastfeed your tapeworm when it came out? Uh no, I would uh I would have some frozen ice cubes of titty milk sent to oh. me. <laughs> and cookies. And cookies of Ray. Hopefully it's not the semen cubes. <laughs> Eating breast oh, milk. No. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta roll the dice on that one. Yeah. yeah. Very similar shade. I'm like, here, tapeworm, you try this first. <laughs> <laughs> There's semen cubes by titty milk cubes, dude. It's yeah. terrifying. Like, How'd oh, you know the difference? I had my tapeworm taste test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I trust my head tapeworm. Up your pants. Pants. He's like, hey, bro, don't eat this shit. It's poison. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, a little tapeworm will come out. Make a make an appearance out of the butthole. You'd be like, Yo, what's happening out there? Worm Here, sign. taste. God try this. It. Yeah, worm sign. Yeah. Try this cube. Like that fucking swinger couple that was eating yeah. pussy, and then a fucking tattoo needle of fucking shit kept poking and fucking showing itself. Oh, oh dude, yeah. if I if I ever had a tapeworm, I'd Tat fucking be a tattooed needle. <laughs> oh, tattooed turtle head. Ta you got tur turtle tattooed head the other day. Out. It's like a big pen. <laughs> oh. Click 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 Guitar click. String. Yeah. Click click. click I just imagine a tapeworm it. being pulled off of one of those little like office tape dispenser things. Right. <laughs> what? Oh, you have a tapeworm? Yeah, I named him Scotch. Ah. <laughs> Scotch the tapeworm. Fuck. My Scotch tapeworm. 
Well, congrats on your fucking uh, possible new job. You're gonna yeah, get, that'd be great. You're gonna hey, get it. Tell you, I just gotta get your hopes resume. up. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I mean, because you'll be let down severely yeah. and be sad for like three fucking days. Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that was it. Well, I also we didn't. I also about. didn't already work at this place and shit on them. I didn't shit on them after I left. Oh, that five. Yeah, that five tape on that. Dylan, that five yeah. bullet point fucking t- email was scathing. Yeah, I don't call my employees my coworkers Nazis. <laughs> well, but in construction no, call, they are though. <laughs> I called people. Yeah, I called people that draw them. swastikas and porta potties Nazis. My coworkers don't do yeah, that. Yeah, but what's your proof? Thing. What's your evidence? Where's your evidence? Well, evidence what? is the swastika. <laughs> I mean, yeah. how many kids in high school drew fucking anarchy symbols and swastikas on their shit? Were they fucking anarchists or Nazis? <laughs> Fuck no. Guarantee they were anarchists. They just like good Charlotte, okay? Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, well, before we head to break, I'll just touch on a few things here. I uh, yeah, just wanted me. to say it's... Uh, Berries and Cream's one-year art anniversary since she started fucking posting on Twitter. That's pretty rad. Hey. We met her through her art, and she's been pretty dope about it, you know? Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. I didn't Congratulations. because of a commission from her. Oh, That's not why. That's your, per- your yeah, personality did that. Her. <laughs> your personality ruined Honestly, the Honestly, it, it was that girl's personality that probably ruined it more than anything, but it's okay. She's True been posting food. some anti-mask stuff on the internet not good times <laughs> <laughs> and ba- yeah barry's posted a new sketch yeah she drew Instagram. all of us in our um our costumes. vegetable costumes yeah yeah that's pretty f- she had pretty she had herself as well i'm an asparagus uh dylan's a pumpkin dave's a mushroom and jay's a carrot <laughs> and i'm also oh, drawn bro. as a carrot uh, <laughs> and he's also oh. drawn as a carrot <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're going to head to a break and then come right back with the second half. Yeah. Um, Ray, you're welcome to hang on the second half, watch the videos. I don't know if we, what you got going on. I, I drink too much, too fast, so I should probably... Uh, and I'm an old man. I'm getting to be an old man. I should probably just go fuck yourself. All right. Well, it's a pleasure having you. Shill your show one more time. Uh, richdickman.com. Rich Dickman, uh, the Rich Dickman Show. Uh, we're all over the place. Episode You're 117, welcome. hitting you up soon. But yeah, just check it out. We're, yeah. we're good. Yeah. Get in there. Thanks for hanging out great, tonight. It was fun. Yep. We have great pee, guests like all of you, except for uh, we haven't had Jay. So, you know, we got good good guests. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ray did say that, or not Ray, uh, Rem told me Jay, uh, he wants you on there. So. Why is he going to apologize for not? Not hiring me? Uh, you can bring that up with him. I don't. I yeah. am. I am not Rem's man. I am yeah, just a new resume. Bit old Rem. More on that. You guys could have a bit. I am friends right? of. I am friend of Rem. I am not Rem. So you have to bring that up with him. You guys have a little bromance going on. You guys actually speak on the telephone, yeah. like voice. Mm-hmm. Like you Gross. guys almost have like mandates. Does, mm-hmm. does anybody most, else know that? The most frightening thing in my life is seeing a phone call from Matt. <laughs> Matt's gonna yeah. start a. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's gonna start a side podcast. Uh, yeah, do you guys do you guys ever get calls from Matt? <laughs> I don't think Matt. I don't think I've spoken to Matt on the phone since the nineties. Yeah, see, yeah, when I so, did something wrong. What's love got to do with saxophone? Just blast it in the background. <laughs> yeah. like dope, dude. Okay, oh, you're slowly turning it up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude. You guys, did you know that that, that Rem and Matt talk on the phone? They do uh, like cute. full-fledged bromance going on. Yeah. Like they chat probably for hours. That's not confirmed, but I mean, come on, let's be real here. I'm giving him my chin growing techniques. Yeah, I don't which is what it's too much to you text. It's too hide much it behind to a text. beard. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. You guys actually like just hang out, and, like yeah, bullshit what with them. What are you doing? I bullshit no, with them. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I normally no, do when I'm man. laying on my bed with my feet up and I'm just like yeah. kicking my fucking yeah. toesies together. No, you're, you're on your <laughs> you're on your belt. You're on your belly with your leg. You're, Feet yeah. up in the back and they're just <laughs> yeah. crisscrossing. Hey, yep. what you doing? Yes, yep. absolutely. Well, thank you, Ray, for hanging out. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me, guys. That was fun. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, but we're welcome. gonna go to break right now. I'll see you on the yeah. other side. Have a good show and have a good time emptying those bladders. Thanks, Bonus sir. Price. Bladders. Bonus. See ya. <laughs> We're back. Hey guys. Hi. 
fucking Discord. Thanks again to Ray from the Rich Dickman Show. Everybody, give him a round of applause. Yeah. He was a great guest. Good a job. round of applause. Uh, during the break, we decided that for our OnlyFans, for the paid subscribers, we were going to get a 3D printed ray, uh, rem from the Rich Dickman Show and a jar. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> we're going to come in it daily. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, and I'm going to transport my cum by carrier pigeon. <laughs> rem drink, it's it's because rem drinks cum. Yeah. Wait. Mm-hmm. Is this what you were talking about keeping at my place? Yep. Yeah. Because that's mm-hmm. right when I sat down. I don't consent. <laughs> but I all the podcast that. stuff is at your place. Uh, three votes to one. Yep. Yeah. This isn't a fucking democracy. This isn't even a republic. <laughs> I want to also <laughs> just celebrate. We got to celebrate because Dylan shit on me that I'm not smarter than a thought. <laughs> it took me four to five attempts to get our goddamn OnlyFans fucking dot com forward slash NFHC podcast approved. Would that make you thoughtless? We are approved today, right? As of today. today. Sweet. So we're Bust not liars. Out your, Bust out your balls. We're not liars. Content's going up on it over the weekend. We should have some before this episode comes out. But right now you can see Dylan as a drawing of a furry. As a wolf with his like commissioned art, dog stuff. dick not fully engorged. Man, I wish I was balling like I was balling when I bought that. <laughs> you know, you got fuck it money when you just you buy, buy a fucking furry drawing. Yeah. I've done a portrait of Almost myself. Like you had a better job back then. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. So, Salt video. <laughs> yeah, because right now down here salt is a way of life that's all dylan he's just a salty boy i feel great yeah because you uh yeah i have to disagree with the salt claim he seems pretty like decent the last week or two the yeah. last week or two he was more well, jovial ago, though, he the was pe- fucking or three ago he was a miserable little prick yeah he really was he really really was so um let's go ahead where is it here Let's get some capitalism out of the way and shill some oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Talk. Hello. Are you anything like myself? A disembodied narration? No? Excellent. You might have one of those mouth things and perhaps even the glorious privilege of whiskers. Treat that facial forest bright with crazy cactus beard bomb. They've got that just goes. what's needed to satiate your <laughs> facial yeah. state. Try invigorating classic The Coffee Shop. Get bold with the aromatic Red Rocket or just mellow out in the fragrance of Grandpa's sweater. Support the show, treat your senses, and pamper that beak. All with a few clicks and bucks at crazycactusbeardbomb.com. They'll take you from stubble trouble to a beard revered. Hit up crazycactusbeardbomb.com today. Capitalism, baby. Crazycactusbeardbomb.com. You get in there, your beard and your face look and smell amazing. They were the once peaches and cream and bomb your mom. Bombyourmom.com. They were once called flavors, but I never condoned that fucking line of questioning. So, uh, yeah. Couldn't do it. I'm st- I'm still on that uh, vulgar display of moisture life. I have like still three I'm, I have three I'm rotating. Red Rocket, the shit and that fucking uh orange popsicle cream sickle one. I've got I've never tried that. I one. think 5. Wow. <laughs> And I rotate through. I've got the the um, Picard. Oh, uh-huh. I murdered I got, the Picard quick. Yeah, I've got Picard. I've got the peaches and cream. Hell yeah, girl. Um, I've got the Northern Woods. The, the, hell's that? the coconut lime. Wood. The coconut lime, the lavender one, and the Ho-Ho Cup of Joe. So I got six. Damn. I've got the Ho Ho Cup of Joe and uh, Picard left, uh, and I'm almost out of my shit. My, that bulgur display of moisture is so good. <laughs> Which is. Uh, it's that, so is, weird. Is that called I- I- Irony Man? Because it's like Pantera based. Whoa. Fuck. Who's Pantera? Cracked it, bro. Oh. It's Pantera paste. Hey, bro. um. <laughs> that co- that, that coconut lime, though, is a good fucking summer flavor. Yeah. Give me I five like minutes alone, too. and I'll explain it to you. Aww. Aww. Now I'm just broken. <laughs> Jeez. Walk go. on home, boy. 
No. Quit. Oh, we got some of this this week. Here you go. Oh, boy. Dana's Cowboys from hell. Oh, oh, was I too late? It's oh. too late. You're too late for the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a bit where um, if you've got this far into this episode, we you can tell we say really dumb shit a lot. And, uh, All of it. Mean uh, stuff. Really mean stuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Com. Uh, and if you it's flip us out of context, y- you can get us in trouble. Like, I mean, if, if anybody were going to be running for president, like this show would stop them. Oh, that's old lore. Uh, you could say whatever you want now and be president. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> See, I'm a boomer. Oh. I, I forget about Donald Trump. You're a swinger, not a polyamorous. <laughs> <laughs> I am ethically non-monogamous. Thank you. There you go. So yeah, uh, Dane has sent us episode 81. We named it "Show It to My Mouth." <laughs> That's when you had the oh, fucking uh, the the helmet yeah, on the, the furry helmet, with the furry hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a hat. It was and a you, giant. It was a giant bobcat head for a mascot. You couldn't see out of it, so we had to show it to your Spe- mouth. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of episodes, real quick, uh, I I totally forgot to post it, but uh, a memory came up on Facebook oh. yesterday of m- the one year anniversary of m- me first officially joining the show oh well happy oh, anniversary to you yeah. everybody everybody yeah, in the chat little, get your hands up, up buddy yeah bro yeah you even unclenched your butthole and everything <sighs> shit's never fucking clenched it loops yeah shit just falls right out fucking of it when it doesn't want it to <laughs> right into a bag <laughs> yep when i shit it's just like a, it's like a yawn <sighs> there's like a brown cloud that just surrounds you mm-hmm. so episode 81 show it to my mouth <laughs> Dane labeled this fucking clip. He named it based. Okay. But she's not transgender or anything. She just has really high testosterone levels. Clit. And the yeah. Olympic the <laughs> Olympic Committee Massive. just voted just voted to make her take testosterone blockers. So what you guys are trying to say is that uh, you guys are uh, transphobic and sexist. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Alan. <laughs> Fucking Alan, dude. Oh, boy. Old buddy Alan. Dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. got, she got a huge clip. <laughs> <laughs> That's Grant from Thought Cops just calling us out, uh, apparently. Did we have oh, him on that episode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a call-in, Dave. That's what that's what we call a call-in in the industry. Ooh. This <laughs> bit is a call-back. This yeah. is a call-back of a call-in. Did we have him on the show? No, that was we were just talking outside. <laughs> Well, I didn't know if it was a voicemail or just what. Recorded it. Oh no, that's. <laughs> we did respond Talking. to him. Yeah, no, dude, listen to Ellis. Go, she got a big clit. But she's not <laughs> transgender or anything. She just has really high testosterone she has a huge levels. Clit. And- <laughs> <laughs> Later, Matt. <laughs> oh, I'm the funniest oh. people I ever knew. It's a Woo. pseudo penis. Oh, the next episode, or the next clip, same episode, show it to my mouth, 81, bowels. I heard Lindsay was checking on uh, Lisa's bowel movements periodically, too, to see if she had uh, passed one. <laughs> oh, this oh, is this uh, right after the pizza roll gold. contest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, post, post that's pizza why, roll. That's why Grant was there. Yes. That's right. It's all coming back to me now. This one's called that, Call Me that, the Racist Bobcat. <laughs> That basement smelled so bad. Oh yeah, from Jay all was the pi- from all the pizza rolls. Yeah, I was the I was the <laughs> I was the food shoveler. The food the shoveler. Yeah. The shoveler. The shoveler the is rolls. hammered. This one might be spicy. This one's called Call Me the Racist Bobcat. <laughs> oh boy. Man, what about eighty eight? Mm, that's Jay's. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's Jay's. Oh, you guys <laughs> he already got that's it. That's my favorite number. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Uh, oh yeah, we I named. Think I was fucking with Jay, and and Alan was like, "Whatever, shut up." You're, I don't know. Yeah, we can't. Ex- we tried to explain our way out, but we can't. Uh, this one's called. I have no idea. I don't remember. This one's called kicking ass, sucking dick. Hmm. 
I'm from a different time, Zwick. I don't, I don't, I don't care that you suck penises. That's just I don't, how they don't talk care at all. Oh That's just God. how they talk. Wow. <laughs> this is really heavy on, on me right now. Yeah, it know. is. Do one more time on that one. <laughs> I'm from a different time, Zwick. I don't, I don't, I don't care that you suck penises. That's just I don't, how they talk. Care at all. Oh That's just God. how they talk. <laughs> Dylan, oh my God. <laughs> This one's called. Uh, uh, I, I care that he never got to while he was in that submarine, though. That's what I care about. Who, yeah. uh, that Ghislaine Maxwell or whatever her sub was it? Her submarine he was in. She, did she have a submarine? <laughs> she has like a submarine business, and she has a submarine license. Yeah. What? I see, yeah, I saw that. No, recently. I, I've been avoiding <laughs> the news because fuck the she's news. Hi- she's hiding him in the sea. Is it the? Is it <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she created more fucking surface area that Dick won't suck dick in. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. that yellow submarine ride at Disneyland, right? Uh, yeah. Gisling Maxwell's submarine ride at Disneyland. Now, that one, he will. Oh, it might not be Disneyland. true. I just read it on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Everything on the internet's true. This, this one, uh, same episode, 81, show to my mouth, called Matt Weird. Fucking Dane. Dane, a treasure, but an asshole. Yeah, thank you, Dane. If Matt people. knows, it's coming. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what it is. I got sweaty about it. Here we go. Hey everybody! <laughs> that save that as a, as a sound bit. Yeah. Save, right now, save it. Hey everybody! <laughs> oh, I guess like I do voice actor. Disney voices. Jesus Christ! Yeah, because you were call me the racist bobcat. I was giving you fucking. I was giving you like. Uh, Sound voice. like voiceover options. <laughs> Sound like Roger <laughs> Rabbit. Like this? Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. Why is that a thing I did? Why did I do that so many episodes ago? It's, it sounds like <laughs> like a character from like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is this the... Oh, the next one's called No Cummies, No Pukies. Is this the origin of our game show? Oh. I threw up in my mouth last week and then had to swallow it. So <laughs> and pulled did you it off. Really? I did. Wow. Yeah. What a weak little guy. I don't like shit in people's mouths and I don't like hearing people throw it. It's up. educational. Now you know that people do that. <laughs> 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 it just landed awkward. I love it. I I knew that happened already. I just didn't need to see it. Whew. <sighs> oh that's the, yeah, that's the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Could send all of those styles of things to nfacpodcast at gmail.com. Thank you, Dane, the proprietor, uh, the originator hey, of the fucking the goddamn the goddamn bit. Comes from a land down He's under. a workhorse out there. He is a workhorse out there. You know, he's not your whipping post. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and <laughs> they beat the crew. <laughs> oh boy, you know, oh no, he's not your whipping post out there. He doesn't just make it when you want him to hey, make it. He makes it when he feels it. Yeah, you can't bully him into picking (laughs) clips that he doesn't vibe with. If he's not vibing with the past episode things... Fuck. Oh! I I, I feel so catty right now, and it's not even me. Let's just be catty bros, dude. Can you just, you know... (laughs) Can you take the... Can you just take the context out? (laughs) Not... And just make it not for human? Yeah, not for for the many humans. Human! (laughs) Alright, uh, the next bit that we're going to do, the next segment, if you will, is this. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. You want y'all look at that? Send us your goddamn trash on the internet. Let us simp your garbage. Let us yeah. simp your garbage. That's a We are a dumpster. Is that a better is that open a, receptacle? Is that a better title for the entire bit we've always done? Is simp your garbage. Simp your garbage. <laughs> oh. Set a simp your internet trash. No, simple be gone. Dump your bags in us. Yeah, it, simp's not it was cut before forever. simp, and before that it was whatever, you know. I don't know. I got in on simp early, so I feel good about using it still. Yeah, we had to explain yeah. simp to Dave. 
Uh, yeah, that was episode like 134 or something. Yeah, it was in there. It was in 134. There. Simply put. So yes, as with anything, you could nfacpodcast at gmail.com in our Discord, yeah. nfacpodcast.com, whatever. Get it. You want to watch yeah. the bit, youtube.com yeah. slash nfacpodcast. Only fans. That's probably a good idea because some of this shit's crazy. Uh, we just started our Pornhub. We're going to p- upload no. this shit like Only what? fans. Only, oh, I'm sorry, Jesus. only fans. And we're going to, what, sorry. do the back half or the whole I don't thing? Know. I don't know. We got to decide. But there's going to be some ex- there's going to be some exclusive content on the only fans. So get in sure, there. Sure. It's all free. It's all free. Well, we can put Dave, the just... unedited ones that get fucking weird on there for sure. Yeah. The ones, the ones that have gotten us almost kicked off of YouTube can go to. We started finding alternate routes for shit because our YouTube well, got many, many a strike. Yeah, we're like one strike away from being gone for a while. We're, yeah. we're getting close to clearing it up. It's oh. okay. We're just we're almost there. Easy. Like points <laughs> on a license. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Home Slice sent us this first bevy of the week. Uh, let's see what he's got going here. God damn it, Bobby! What did I tell you about putting your <laughs> dick in a <the> vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I don't know, Dad. (laughs) Listen, son. I know the temptation of getting sucked and fucked by a Dyson vacuum cleaner is appealing, but you can't be doing that to such fine craftsmanship. That boy ain't right. (laughs) Damn it. Whoa. God damn it, Bobby. What did I tell you about putting Peter Pan peanut butter all over your balls and have an old ladybird lick it off? Ladybird. Well, I don't know, Dad. <laughs> this, this is Listen, just King son, of the Hill to me at all the time. I know the, the temptation of putting chunky peanut butter on your boys and having an eager hound dog try to lick it off is appealing. But you can't be doing that or people will think you like dogs a little too much. Whoa. I that don't know, boy dude. ain't right. God damn it, Bobby! What did I tell you about messing with your T cells and embryonic fusion? Like <laughs> 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 a weird ass fucking episode of Rick and Morty. Uh, some weird contraption in the garage. Oh, Homeslice says he thinks it was Old Man Rogers, but either way, fucking good. Listen, son. Becoming an omnipotent being capable of destroying <laughs> worlds seems nice and fun now. But when you're older, people will say, Hey, there goes that kid who tried to destroy the planet. Now, do you really want that boy? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put you down, boy. If this has turned into a Kira? I don't know you! I'll see you in hell, you son of a bitch! God damn it. That was bizarre. I I liked it. Oh, there's more? Oh, (laughs) uh, okay. Oh, it's the Meat Canyon boys, dude. There you go. They get it. They always fucking kill it. They always kill it. The Meat Canyon Boys! So that was either Home Slice or Old Man Rogers. Uh, Holy shit, I'm gonna come! <laughs> either way, they're both handsome gentlemen. Uh, let's find the Thanks, next guys. one. <laughs> uh, Home Slice sent this one in then. I accidentally clogged my boyfriend's toilet, so I put the, took the poop out and put it in his cat's litter box. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. What the fuck? It's a voicemail. It sounds yeah, like, yeah. It sounds like Perry's dude. Sounds so, like Perry's that sounds like somebody I know. Okay, hold on. Mm, acquaintance, maybe. This girl pooped. She clogged her boyfriend's toilet, so she grabbed the turd and threw it in the cat's litter box. I accidentally clogged my boyfriend's toilet, so I put the took the poop out and put it in his cat's litter box. Then he asked if I pooped in it. And I said no, but he said his cat has been dead for a week. Please pick me up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, Barry! We'll come get you. <laughs> That's a terrible situation to be in. Oh, please pick. Oh, that's rough. That's a rough. rough. Oh, that's the a rough one. I tell you, needle, right? In out, in out. Uh, did you did you shit in the cat's litter box? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Maddie J sent this one in. The worst music video in the world. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh 
my god. Dylan. Oh my god. They finished the song even if they weren't feeling it at the oh moment. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody was feeling this. Oh my god. They don't have shoes I'm looking on. for a sailor. Oh <laughs> my god. I'm looking for the same. Oh my god. I'm looking is... for a sailor. Oh my god. I hate it. Ready Thanks. to attack. Who are you to realize that I'm no fancy human? Sympathize that I'm no human being. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I'm looking <laughs> for a sailor. Oh my god. I'm looking for the sea. Oh my god. It's mixed well. I'm looking for a sailor. Yes, yeah, we don't panic without god. Dylan sucks. <laughs> I mean, they put out something, you know. Who are Why can't you, you guys do it? Guarantee you this has a lot of likes because they finished a the product. No fancy human. They're like, who are you to sympathize? That it, I'm no it looks human like the being. vampires from Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> but the budget one. But like, they're stuntmen. Yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're, they're stunt body doubles. doubles. <laughs> I'm so I've, glad COVID is bringing people, you know, to be more creative. <laughs> I feel like I know it's the great. dude on the left. I feel like I know. I know that he guy. looks. Yeah, he yeah. seems. <laughs> he seems a familiar. Yeah, dude. Oh, when they're vampires and they're familiars, I get oh, you. Yeah, that that was slick. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god damn everything in the fucking face. Dude, Simon well, only thing I can say is, is they didn't uh, well. they didn't build out of the bridge, you know? Yeah, you know they didn't they, build out of the bridge. They released a song without a chorus. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found this one. Six mm, US mm. presidents sing Fuck the Police by NWA with speech recognition. Right about now. WA court is in full effect. Judge Drake presiding. <laughs> In the case of NWA versus the police department, prosecuting attorneys are MC Rana, Ice Cube, and Easy Motherfucking E. Order, order, order. Ice Cube, take the motherfucking stand. You swore to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help your black ass. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I just so realized it's ass. fucking PWA presidents with attitude. Yeah. God damn. Damn right. Why won't you tell everybody what the fuck you gotta say? Fuck the police, coming straight from the underground. Yeah, the young yeah. nigga got it back because I'm brown. <laughs> I finally like so Reagan. Police think they have the authority, kill a minority. Fuck that shit, whoa, goes I ain't the one. For a uh. motherfucker with a badge and a gun, be beating on. Thrown in jail. We can go to the two in the middle of a cell. Fucking with me, cause I'm a teenager. With a little bit of gold and a pager. Searching my car, <laughs> looking for the problem. Thinking every nigga selling narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Reagan. That was, that was Reagan, whoa. That's, that's their word, dude. And when I'm finished, bring the yellow tape. The tape off the scene of the slaughter. Hell yeah, the dude. Bread and water. All right, let's I don't know fucking... Bags or what. Search a nigga down and grabbing his nuts. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Without a gun, Reagan. they can't get none. But don't yeah, yeah. Be Reagan's got like bars. They'll slam it down to the street cop. Black police going out to the white cop. Ice cube was sworn. On any mother oh, okay. in blue uniform. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's end it off on this one. Let's see what this one's about. Hey, everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's Everything Music, it's What Makes This Song Great, Episode mm. 70. The oh, band man. is Pantera, and the song oh. is Walk. Mm -hmm. Coming up next. <laughs> what Makes This Song Great? By Rick Beato. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked when I'm going to feature Pantera in one of these What Makes This Song Great videos. Well, This is Viral Architect. He sent this one in. Today's the day. In honor of doing the video, I thought, oh, I need to go find my Vinnie Paul snare. Well, all I could find was my Vinnie Paul snare box, but... The oh, there's a Vinnie Paul snare somewhere. box. Rock was the fourth Dude, that snare's fucking the massive. ...to release Vulgar Display of Power. 
The song oh, was written wow. by the entire band. It was produced by one of my favorite <laughs> rock producers, Terry Date. The song begins with a classic riff. <laughs> <laughs> classic. The classic. classic. What? Okay, so this is a 12 8 riff. I want to talk about that. It's 12 8, Dave. Did you know that? 12 8 is basically 4 4, but it's Fuck triplet off. based. It's, so if you think it, of it it's like basically this, 4 4. No, it one, is two, three, 4 4. Three, <laughs> yeah, they're all 4 4. Three. So four groups of three. It's like a shot. I've heard this the riff Rick Beto, is, that's this guy's name, right? Yeah, I've heard it before. He's a producer or something, right? He does a whole Deftones one. <laughs> this is what makes walk great though and then a little bit more just to make it heavier and so it's harder to tune your guitar with is it when you're trying to play along right so you got your gross Fucking worst tone ever let's talk about the opening riff oh. there's like a little Quarter bend with a vibrato on it. It's really actually hard to do. Wow. And what is it? Yeah, you, you bend the string a little. It's so hard to do. <laughs> sound of metal. So the second half of the riff goes <laughs> to the third fret power chord on the A string, then first fret power chord, then <laughs> goes to this fourth interval there between the first fret of the A string and D string. <laughs> Which really like is a power is he, chord. Is he putting this shit out because he's bored? Bass, what what played <laughs> This is his YouTube channel. He just describes I what makes hate it. Here. Do I blame COVID for this or well, is this old? Actually, I don't I don't remember the date. I do I blame there. COVID for this? Dave, this is why Walk <laughs> is great. And just it listen. would sound pretty much the same. When it gets to the, to the climbing Fucking riff, the microphone will sound the same. that riff features the notes one, flat two, flat three, and then flat six, flat five, and then major seven. So that would really be one, flat two, flat three. Fuck off. You can see he's <laughs> got a little mixer flat five, like he, flat and, six, and a microphone, eight, you know, seven. he's putting make YouTube videos for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of this high. Now, yeah, now he's fucking playing a fucking scale. scale that doesn't okay, even belong so in the song. Let's talk about what is great. Oh, he's got a five string bass right here, though. Part. Whoa. Well, he does different things each time. Does he? Soul of the track. Check it out. It's pretty red bass, though. Now, that's definitely first fret there with almost no bend, right? <laughs> and then the second time, he's playing. Definitely, he's playing three, two, one, uh, or second fret, first fret, open. Jesus this is crazy. <laughs> that sounds like that. I hate it. <laughs> he's out of tune. <laughs> Viral architect, fucking. Okay, gets so this is this, part, this is going. bullshit, though. Like, why aren't you just listen? Fucking, what makes Dave just mad? listen? Like, Anytime you have power chords, in the <laughs> this face, is what makes it, it makes great. It sound a lot it's more. because when Just you know listen. it's coming, yeah. you don't get as mad. Make Dave mad great again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the bass and guitar is playing unison Fuck on off. the riff. <laughs> oh, yeah, motherfucker! Next, let's check out what Vinnie Paul is playing on the drums. Start from the top. Great. <laughs> Somebody put penises in his hands when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> that great fill <Phil> here. <laughs> Vinnie Paul is probably the least offensive thing about this band. Oh yeah, no, he was a good drummer. And right here. I really hate his tom though. And then So do do dead and that ooh, do dead and that oh all those fills <laughs> are based on and, and the whole group. <laughs> Let's talk to each other. Drummers just berate women. They talk fucking private chat. We're Phil enters. Check it out. Oh, let's check out the vocals by themselves. Here, check it out. It's Phil. Fuck, we hate Phil. No. Uh, 
One thing that's really cool about the first part are the guitar stabs. I'm just letting this bash into Dave. He's hating everything. Now I'm going to hit my dog. Hit your dog? right there. Let me solo the guitar. Pokey's... Oh. Mmm. Great. this power chord up here that is based on the major seventh, if you think of it. Great. <laughs> oh, we did our job. I hate this show. Thanks, Viral Architect. You like Pantera now? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Would y'all look at that? We looked at it. Do you like Pantera now, Dave? Because that guy described it. It's great. It was, that is what makes Pantera, Pantera great again. With Pant Rikido. Great. <laughs> I thought Confederate flags made Pantera great. I uh. No, 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 no. That just made them, you know. Hey. Mpuga. You're not making Pantera great. You're making Mpuga. Confederate flags worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Which is which is worse? <laughs> the Confederacy or Pantera? It's heritage, not hate, brother. Well, I blame I blame the Confederacy for <sighs> Pantera. That's for sure. I let it go a little long because Dave was squirming in his chair. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you. <laughs> that. that was like me watching somebody in a vinyl fucking suit. <laughs> 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 so yeah, nfhcpodcast dot com. That's where you get it all. We have the new OnlyFans dot com forward slash nfhc podcast. We have merch. We're gonna have merch. We have merch. I'm updating merch. I got. I, I'm in the final throes of finalizing like two new or three new designs. Oh, you got a you got a, a Grimwolf shirt now. Oh yeah, my streamer my streamer stuff. Uh, yeah, Grimwolf Prime, Teespring, Twitch TV or whatever. Yeah, the, my streamer stuff on the Grimwolf Prime stuff on Twitch. I got I got I got a shirt. I've already sold some. Fucking crazy. Well, thank you for those. Pantera is a symptom. Ash says. <laughs> it's true. A symptom. Simping after Pantera, bro. So think about it. Don't think about yourself. So we got a Pornhub channel. There's some stuff on it. But. We gotta update it, Dylan. Mm -hmm. I showed somebody uh, the like if I want to show somebody something from the show, I usually show them uh, pussy gets wrecked in a fist fight. That is a good clip. Uh, <laughs> That's on Pornhub.com that slash day. users slash NFHC podcast. Yes, it absolutely yeah. fucking is, bro. You know, um, haven't had any porn porn hubable clips lately, really. Um, no, you totally took three weeks off of look at this is. Yeah, it happens. You don't have a band well, anymore to fucking anymore. take your time. So uh, I didn't have a band taking my time before. That. <laughs> <laughs> God damn you, bro! Not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh. I'm just gonna put vocals on all those songs and just send them to Jeff and be like. I'm not very good, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good, but at least I did work, is what Dylan's, the platform he's running on for 2020. Yes. Hey, it works. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we There's have a new, new we have a new Patreon okay. for this week. Yes, patreon.com forward slash NFC podcast if you'd like to support the show. It definitely fucking helps us get the fucking hosting and some gear to make this motherfucker happen. And we fucking appreciate it. Uh, the new patron this week is Boom You Pregnant. Boom. Oh, shit. Live tier, 10 bucks a month. Thank you, sir. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you if to I, all if current... You can't get it, if you can't get into the live thing on Discord, just just tag one of us in Discord, because sometimes it gets weird. It works, and then it doesn't. And then it works, and then it doesn't. So, uh... And it's don't not, get me pregnant. Boom, you pregnant. I want that. Yeah, watch out for Ice Cube. So thank you to him, all the current and former patrons. Uh, it's fucking awesome that you guys help us out. Uh, you know, Discord, we love you. The Discord live people every week it makes it more fun to do this with everybody. We get your fucking comments in there. The love. Uh, once again, happy art anniversary to Barry's the one year of fucking starting to draw some shit out there, or at least put yourself out there. The thread. You've drawn a bunch happy of things birthday, for us. Uh, home slice, yeah. Happy birthday to home slice, yes sir. Happiest of born. Happiest of Everybody born Everybody else, days. fuck you. If you touch your birthday or your anniversary, you'd get fucked. I don't know. Yeah, and if we don't know, fuck yourself. No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, let's see here. Did we show all the rest of The last thing you can do to get a hold of us. Yeah. The last the thing. very, very last line of defense. The last. 480. 788. 7330. Oh, oh we got shit. it. That's our voicemail. Y'all did it. Voicemail. Fardo seven and eight seven three three zero. That's where you give us the last fucking. You could tell us to fuck ourselves. You could give us show ideas. You could tell us what the fuck's up. You could just do whatever. You get in there. It's four eight zero seven and eight seven three three zero. I think this first one for the week is from Old Man Rogers. Check it out. Hey Dylan, has Jordan Peterson's book taught you how to not die alone? Seriously, man, fuck that guy. Mm. Boners. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, fuck Jordan I, Peterson. I almost sent in the uh, in the ready room. I want to talk about courage. I, talk about courage <laughs> I almost sent in the ready room today. Uh, it was a video of him like defending himself. It's like I think it was titled like uh, Scott or uh, Jordan Jordan Peterson's <laughs> uh, Jordan Peterson's uh, best comebacks. Oh, <laughs> it was like fifteen minutes long. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I was gonna put that in the ready room, but. I think we already got enough argument, arguing between you and Dylan out of the way. Ah, uh, you're fine. A while ago. Fine. Let's see here. It'll All right. Funny. Send that shit. Make Dylan mad about things. He's funny when he's <laughs> mad about things. He writes good music when he's sad. About- he's funny when he's mad. He writes amazing music when he's sad. Yeah, indica side note, or sativa in the morning, indica at night. Yeah. <laughs> I, side note, I discovered that I might be a little manipulative today. In conversation, because <laughs> we were talking about, I was like, "What's funny is like, I'll start digging in on somebody, and like, I don't even give a shit about the conversation at all. It's literally <laughs> just to piss them off." And I'm like, "Is that manipulative?" And yeah. Chris was like, "Yeah, a little bit, bro." I'm like, <laughs> "Don't." Well, look, it's funny. Uh, is, but is there intent in order to yeah, manipulate? I mean, you're manipulating yeah. the situation, sure. But the intent is to upset that person while I remain completely. Calm. You're um, a sociopath. Yeah, Dylan. You're a troll. Dylan's dark yeah, passenger. <laughs> Dylan has a dark passenger. When you got so much empathy, bro, you got to balance. Uh, balance in the force. You owe you empath. So, thank you, old man Rogers. Let's check out the next, the next voice. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, fuck you, by the way. <laughs> Come at me. Come I at forgot me. Fr- I, I forgot, I forgot <laughs> that you came at me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck you, by the way. That was hilarious. See? Dylan's hilarious when he's mad. Ugh. Great music when he's sad. He's a he's an emotional roller coaster. Fucking loser when I'm happy. Nobody wants to be around that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> it's the next one. Hey guys, it's Poe again. Oh, Poe. Never just hey, spend babe. like three hours working under a sink to find out the clock goes under the house. Oh, because I did. Jesus. No. I, I wanted to cry. Oh. So <laughs> don't don't cry. Uh, I, that's how it's going over here. Hell yeah. I don't have anything else to talk about. It's yeah. boring here. <laughs> and the f- chores are all I have. <laughs> Fuck. I hate it. I'm okay. sorry, Poe. Boners love you guys. We love you. Boners, bro. Hey, bro. Boners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. It's nice boners. here, Poe. Yeah, dude. I spent an hour and a half under a sink. It wasn't fun. Fucking uh, poners, bro. Poners. Thanks for calling, buddy. It's good to hear from you. It's good yeah, to hear totally. from it's good to hear from regulars and non regulars in COVID times because they're not they're not coofing on a venti. Here's the next voicemail. I'm just a human and I cry when I come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we oh. drunkenly spent all week uh, replacing Morrissey lyrics with "crying when he comes." Oh, because <laughs> we found out Morrissey's uh, super racist. So uh, oh. yeah. Uh, here's the next voice. <laughs> the cool thing about that is, is your favorite band, like, oh, the Cure with Morrissey, like, like, yeah. like totally just rips on it, Morrissey. D- and didn't it's he funny. adopt Robert a black Smith baby though? On Twitter, I think. What Jay? That's a, didn't he like adopt a black baby though? Morrissey. Yeah. 
Oh, it's like a token, like a like a. I'm not oh, racist because I rent, I rented, oh, I rented man. one. It's called a thrall. Yeah. A thrall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude, but like, we started looking into it, and we're like, because I, I was just playing Morrissey and the Smiths in Discord one night, and we were all just chilling, we we're just vibing out there, and we're like, what the fuck? Isn't he racist? And we started Googling, and we're like, oh my god. It's hard to vibe out in the coof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tough, tough, Here's tough the next voicemail of the week. Mama used to always say I had a nice cock. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thanks, Forrest. Ooh, Forrest. Don't, don't, don't be talking like that. Magic You're legs. Better than that. Magic, <laughs> magic cock. Life's like a box of dick chocolates. A dick ch- <laughs> like Fucking box of Forrest dick Hump. Chocolates. Forrest Hump. Here is the next voicemail of the week. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kevin. Kevin! Kevin! Um, I'm a little high right now. Oh. Huh. Thanks Good to the brownie that... I can Somebody hear it I in his breathing. Made. You live okay. for the high breathing of like, like, like re- rewind it a little bit. <laughs> Quivering hey, diaphragm. Hey guys, it's Kevin. Um, <laughs> right Thanks to a brownie that somebody I lived with made. I know that that delicious. anxiety. But uh, so I'm sitting here watching The Crow. Yeah. Yeah. And. I text Manually my co-host, breathing. my co-host Scott McNulty, and was like, "Hey, you think The Crow is a gangster movie?" Yeah. To which yeah. he replied, "LOL, that might be a bit of a hard sell." Uh, he the the crow fights against the gangs. Yeah, yeah. However, I think Did- Rapid Fire is a gangster movie. I don't even know that one. To which I replied, "Fuck yeah, it's a gangster movie." Uh, but we're gonna leave it up to. The listeners, uh, we put a post on our page to vote yeah. yay nay, if Rapid Fire is a mob movie so that we can cover the uh, the greatness of Brandon Lee. So let's see what happens. I think the, Boners, I think yeah. the, crow, the crow works. The crow, yeah. really? I don't think I enough mean, people know Rapid Fire. Yeah, I've never make, heard of Rapid Fire. Yeah, what is Rapid Fire? I, that's, if he didn't, well, that's one of his first movies. Brandon if Lee. He st- if he didn't start yeah. that voicemail saying how high he was, I would have <laughs> asked him how high he was. How high are you right now, bro? <laughs> and that's the McWise Guys podcast. Yeah. yeah. You get. You get. He didn't even. He didn't even give the name of the podcast. He was so. No, high. didn't. You <clears throat> could tell by his drag. Like he's. Oh, just, well, I, I, I so gotta slow. say though. <laughs> oh, that's good on him. I've seen this. I've seen that cover. Rapid fire. Unarmed and movie, extremely though. dangerous. Yeah, because it's right there. <laughs> That's the cover. In this explosive martial arts action adventure, college student Jake Lowe is pursued by smugglers, mobsters, and crooked federal agents. Yeah, mobsters, dude. Yeah. Totally well, counts. You know, technically, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that, that could qualify. Yeah, very yeah. true. But uh, The Crow is absolutely a, mon- a mobster movie because he's fighting yeah. the fucking mob. Well, and it's they do they say organized crime. Yeah. So even, though they're, even though they're a goth mob gothmob.com yeah. <laughs> um and his co-star's name is powers booth so <laughs> I've yeah heard that name i don't know who it is yeah, Fuck he, was, in there. Uh, <laughs> he was um uh tombstone curly bill oh <laughs> in tombstone i remember okay i know who you're talking about powersbooth.com right here how That's the fuck you can have two last names Oh, he's in Deadwood. Oh, it's this powers, fucking yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, bye. Curly Booth. Yeah, it's the well bye guy. Powers Booth. Yeah, he's a he's a meme. He was Apparently, in died also. in his home in L.A. According to this thing. Good job cool. dying in your fucking bye. home, idiot. Um. Oh wait, what? No, I'm not mad about it. I don't know why I said it. But anyway, uh, yeah, Powers Booth. He's a gangster. <laughs> Um, did anybody else in the crow get mad that he was soloing on top of that skyscraper through a practice amp with no delay pedal? Yeah, that was I ridiculous. Was, come I on. fucking hated that. Nah. Come on. I paid bro. more attention to the rest of the movie. Uh, the rest of the movie was terrible. It's not a, it's not a good movie. Well, I mean, it's a good movie. Is it, though? It is. Uh, last voicemail of the week comes from Adam from Houston. Let's see what's up here. Uh, he sent two once a transcription unavailable, so I apologize. Oh, boy. Couldn't do it. Let's see what up. And guess what, guys? 
I was talking to Crippled Jesus, if you know who that guy is, and he gave me an R word pass. Oh boy. Isn't that retarded? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, and he continues. I say it, but I know you're not. <laughs> that was that was that was timing on that was fucking brilliant. I mean, how does that really even work? I didn't even know I needed one until like two or three years ago. <laughs> oh man, times are changing. But I got a Dude. question for you. So, if someone is qualified to give out the R word pass. Are they? Is it actually good because they're, they're of their diminished mental faculties? Yeah, how, it's how not. Does all work? Yeah, you can't. I'm so confused. <laughs> then go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's bonus. Go fuck yourself too. Oh, oh dude. Boners, Adam. Yeah, yeah. You ever think that maybe Triple <laughs> Jesus is actually a, a normal crippled? white supremacist that's just pretending to be crippled? Could wow. be. Could ah. be. That's the voicemails. Four eight zero seven eight eight seven three three zero. Come on. Wait, no. I mean, can you te- can you technically be crippled if you just have holes in your hands and feet? Oh, you're going on the Jesus angle. Get get, get your hands up. Because he did. Get your holes hand. Get your holes. <laughs> get your holes hand. <laughs> that dude's funny. Adam's funny. Thank you everybody for calling. Uh, leave us more voicemails. Four eight zero seven eight eight seven three three zero. You it just it. proves you can be a cold-blooded murderer and still be funny. Yeah. yeah. The guy lived. The guy did live. <laughs> Allegedly. He did shoot somebody in the back. <laughs> oh, man. Directly in the back. Him? That's not the was at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he tied the guy up, hands and feet, hogtied him, and then shot him in the face. Jesus. Yeah, it's it's cuz he was hanging out with Rob Schneider and Rob Schneider's like, "Let's get that guy who's not white." Yeah, that's yeah. how that's, that's how crazy. rumors start. That see, that's how you just start all rumors. You just make shit up. Nazi Robert Schneider's a racist. Thanks, so, Ray. Thanks, Come Ray, on. for joining us on <laughs> this episode <laughs> from the Rich Dickman show. 25% of the Rich Dickman show Ray is Thank you. you. Know, and 75% of the chin. Since he's not here anymore and he probably isn't going to listen. Um, and I know Ram's probably listening, but are they forever just going to just keep this Rich Dickman thing going with the their lawyers and the, yeah. the office of Rich Dickman? They're just, they're just going to keep doing that, huh? Uh-huh, it's funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Just wondering. Just making sure. People can like things you don't like, Dylan, because you don't like anything. Oh. I like everything. You like everything, mostly Dave. Like, come on, Dave. He if he were in, if he were in that podcast, he'd have quit it by now. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I also I really like picking on Rem. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're making him better one song at a time. Yeah, good times. Glassjaw. <laughs> Glassjaw's a great band. Is that? Oh, you should yeah, get him into. They Glassjaw. have a great record. That'd be funny. Get, show Rem. Hey, on, on this week of Rem's musical adventures, show him Glassjaw. Glass I don't jaw. even know Glassjaw. Worship and tribute. Glassjaw is awesome. I took some broad to do a Glassjaw show once, but I didn't know any of their songs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're just like good. looking at her ass, and you're like, this, 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 this amazing band's, like, like, band's playing. The- Quicksand yeah, played also. Albums. They had a new album that just came out a couple years ago, and it was terrible. I really like it. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was awful. It was good. It just had that one record that was so fucking good, and then everything else. Two, was two Whoa. records. I don't even really like that Our- second one. Our color green, and whatever the newest. I don't even know how the fuck we well. got here. Honestly, we never know how we you get guys here. Like Dave Matthews so. Band. <laughs> I like the yeah. Dave Matthews Band. Fuck actually. off! <laughs> I hate agreeing with you, you guys about stuff. So yes, oh, you never forget. Train. Never forget that I Dylan said I'm not as intelligent as a thought because I couldn't get our OnlyFans approved for here fucking car crash. That cut me, me to the fucking core. That, that cut me to the core. Sorry. But it made me get shit done. Hey, it worked. And I didn't be like, why are you picking on me? I'm not your workhorse. See, that's the difference. <laughs> you shamed him, and he got it done. You <laughs> shamed her, and, and nothing, nothing got done. I'm a motivator, but do I try to motivate for, for respect or resentment? <laughs> that's <laughs> No, it's for results, and whatever comes after it's just feels. Damn it. I should have said results. In that damn, that would have been a good one. I'm gonna uh, go back. Yeah, go back. Rejoin the band. Just <laughs> and, <laughs> and another thing, you just rejoin. Take the chances. <laughs> and 
Anyway, we're going to get out of here for this week. Thank you, everybody that listens to us each and every week. And everybody in the Discord tonight that hung out. It's fucking awesome. All the patrons, yeah. thank you much. Uh, we got bonus episodes in the works right now. We're going to get them done. We're sorry. We're a little behind. Fucking COVID times, am I right? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get out of here to the band Spotlights. Uh, the song's called Part One. Right, Jay? It's part yeah. one. Four part journey. Yeah, it's a journey. We're going to give you the one that isn't all like. It's not journey. Spotlights. Don't stop it's- believing. <laughs> Don't stop believing in us, everybody, because we'll be back next week with episode 140, the big one. Yeah, remember that oh, wheel in the boy. sky keeps on turning. In the sky oh, boy. keeps on turning. Are we going to get DMCA'd or whatever it's called now? God damn it. We can't even say journey. You get canceled. Why? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Home oh, wait, size. <laughs> wait, we'll definitely get canceled yeah. for that no, one. No, that ended. The the happy birthday mem- 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 moratorium. Mem- oh, moratorium. Oh, moratorium. Moratorium. Why was there a moratorium on happy birthday? Because uh, the, the copyright thing. That's why. Because Sony owned it and they were like, <laughs> yeah, use it on a TV show. I dare you. Yeah, that's, that's like, literally why. Us. That's literally like why at Red Lobster they'd be like. You have a yeah, birthday, yeah, yeah. you fucking happy, fat fuck. Happy, happy yeah. You're a fat fuck and you eat you. lots of biscuits, you fucking cunt. Like, they make up their own goddamn thing. <laughs> anyway. Happy birthday, have a happy birthday. Happy birthday, have a happy day. Olay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Happy eat, eat your cheddar biscuits, you <laughs> fucking fat twat. Anyway, here's us. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> eat meat. Oh, uh, here's the band Spotlights. We love them. This is their song part one. It's pretty new, right, Jay? Yeah, it just came out uh, I don't know, a very short time ago. Hell yeah. I don't know exactly. So thank you all. Oh, we'll the next, see the next. you next Wear time. Wear a mask, pricks. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>